Oh my god, I don't know what to do. I'm gonna save the game. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Oh my god. 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 Um. Um. Kind of scared. Hey everyone, welcome back to your turn to die death game by majority. In the last one, um, quite a lot happened. We got to see what happened from KJ's side, um, and along with Kitaro and Mai. Ranmaru just died. I'll also go watch the episode because <laughs> you're gonna get spoilers, obviously. But Ranmaru died. And then, uh, ugh, so much happened. Just go watch it because, like, it, it was just so much. But yeah, now we're back here and we're fighting um, this thing. It's like maple, but like a bunch of different things together. So, um, it's like all the dead people, basically. Now, I think, so this one is the one that's acting right now. It's angry at humans. So, also we need to ch let the, the battery charge die out, so we gotta do that, so, alright. Um, Khan will try persuading them not to be violent. No, because it doesn't like humans. Take the plunge, let's win it I'm over. We'll offer them an invitation. Um, I'll provoke them, let them rampage as much as they like. No. <laughs> I'll splash them with some water I found earlier, Meow. No. If we're timid, they'll kill us. Let's be intimidating to make them scared instead. No, I can use my fist to wreck at least one of those monsters. Got a weapon, I'll try throwing this, this to attack. What? I wonder if we can apologize to end this all peacefully. Peaceably. Well, he is a doll, and it looks like he's mad at the humans, so maybe the doll can get him to do something? I don't know. Try it. Select a target to use apology on. Uh. Oh. Uh, let's see, beat this guy. Yes. Maybe? Oh. Think I'll let you off if you apologize? I'll have no problem killing you! Oh god. Eek! Oh my god. The sneering AI started, started up. Oh god. Oh my, I see Miss Now isn't here. Isn't there? Did you all kill her? Ugh! Don't bewilder you, Kutaro. God. I get that, but ugh. He has a deceptive personality. We can't go against him carelessly. God, this is crazy. Oh my god. Um. What should we do? No, I don't think she can do anything. I will try persuading them not to be violent. Take the plunge, let's win them over. We'll offer them an invitation. An invitation to what? I'll provoke them, let them rampage as much as they like. Uh. Splash them with some water I found earlier. Water, okay. Timid. Let's be intimidating to make them scared instead. What? Be intimidating. Um. Maybe? I can use my fist to wreck at least one of those monitors. I've got a weapon, I'll try throwing. What does she have? What's it? Okay, well, that's gonna work. Maybe let's try being intimidating. Sure. Ooh. Oh god. I ain't scared of you, shorty! Ain't you only as tall as your hair? <laughs> Damn it. Ah, oh, sh- Ah, oh, shut up. So infuriating. Damn it. The sorrowful AI started up. I'm sorry, I'm sorry! I can't do anything but hurt you. <laughs> Maple, be strong. You don't want to do this, right? Oh god, Maple attacked my- oh shit. But Maple... Oh god, mine just barely avoided the attack. Yeah. Ah! Uh, oh jeez. Maple doesn't like fighting, but she can't defy Midori's orders. Uh... Oh my god, what do we do? I'm not sure that- no, I don't know. Persuading them to not be violent. Waiting. Mm. I, 
I don't know what to do with the angry one. <laughs> Um, I don't know. <laughs> Splash him. <laughs> Do it. Oh, maybe that worked. Bastard, stop it! Oh. Oh, okay. The water went inside the body, consuming energy. Sweet. I did it, meow. Nice dog. Nice to back up. Okay. The frightened AI started up. Oh, shit. Everyone, please stop! I don't want to die! Oh my god. Really? They're really doing this? Big says Sarah, can we save that guy, Meow? With them running on the same battery, I don't see any way we can. Hmm. Um. What is it? Whoa. Hold on. Knife throw? Whoa. Um, I don't think we need that. Okay. Alright, this one. Yeah. Go for it. Bastard, stop! Let's go. Huh, serves you right. Okay, the AIs are watching things unfold. Alright, so we don't have to worry about that one anymore. Sneering, sorry, and frightened. Sneering, sorry, frightened. Try persuading them to not be violent. Sneering, sorry, or frightened. Sneering, sorry, frightened. To not be violent. Um, oh, actually, that might have been for ugh, the angry one. I don't know. An invitation. All right, let's try that on the Mishima one. Yeah. All right, this might work. Oh, 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 an invitation! If you come over to my side, then perhaps I might think about it. Ugh, can't get along with this guy! Damn it. The sneering AI started up. Uh oh. <laughs> he looks to be sizing us up. Oh no. Um. Um, maybe? Um. I'll provoke them. Let's win them over, we'll offer them- Okay, that didn't work on it. Oops. No, no. Persuading them to not be violent. Be intimidating to the Mishima one, maybe? I don't know. Try it. Let's go. Oh, yes, I think that worked. I think that worked. Mm, what is that attitude? I am a teacher, you know. Delinquent students must be given thorough, thorough guidance. Yes. Oh, okay, okay, that kind of works. Oh, maybe I should think about their personalities, too. And what are their professions and stuff. The sneering AI responded strongly, consuming energy. Lecturing me when he's trying to kill me. Yeah, seriously. Strivable AI started up. Okay. Can't betray Hiyori, can't betray Hiyori. Maple swung her arms around fiercely. Uh oh. Whoa. Oh god, it's, this, it's this, the freaking chainsaw one. Yikes, we can't approach. Oh shit. Maple swinging left hand hit her right hand. Ah, uh, uh, my hand. Oh my god, what the fuck is happening? You can't watch this, damn it. <laughs> this is really fucking weird. Um, so she's sorrowful? Persuading? Maybe. Invitation. Provoke them. If we're timid, they'll kill us. Uh, I've got a weapon. I'll try throwing this to attack. I wonder if we can apologize to end this all peacefully. Wait, maybe you can... Pr no, wait, actually, the one that's active is Maple, so I feel like... Um, yeah, apologies. Maybe Maple, when she's sad, like, apologies, so maybe that's it? I don't know. Come on. Oh. I'm sorry, Hayasaka, I'm sorry. Oh my god, are you serious? We're just apologizing at each other, there's no point to it. Uh oh. A frightened AI started up. Please, Yori, stop this already! 
No, no, show me your cool side, Shin. Oh my god. Ah, <laughs> oh, Yori. <laughs> so cruel, he clearly doesn't want this. Oh my god. I'm frightened? I feel like if we intimidate him, he's just gonna be more frightened. Oh, provoke! Yeah, that makes him do the opposite, right? We should provoke um, him so he's more... less frightened, maybe? I think we're trying to make them do the opposite of what they are. Oh god. No way, I can't fight, I'm scared! Oh my god. No good, he's just afraid of us, so nothing, nothing's gonna happen. Bears are watching things fun fold. Take the plunge, invitation. Invitation to what? I'm trying to make them... Maybe we should make them more happy? I don't know. Wait, maybe we... Okay, let's try this. I don't know. Um, sure. <laughs> I don't fucking know what to do. I'm confused. Um... Oh. You mustn't stop that! Oh, shit. Okay. I've already made up my mind. Oh, shit. The eyes are watching things unfold, so now there's only two left. Persuading them. Intimidate. Uh, I wonder if we can apologize to end this all peaceably. I don't know. What happens if he apologizes to Shin? Yeah. Maybe? I don't know. What? Wait. Apologizing me? Apologizing? You mean you're sorry that you have to forsake me? Hey! No, that wasn't my intention. Ugh. Oh my god. Uh-oh. Oh no. It's no use. I can't control it. Please run. Not good. She's coming toward us. If we don't sell this now, it'll be bad. Oh my god. Okay, um... No, no, no. Kinda will try persuading them to not be violent. Um... Take the plunge. What does this mean? Imitation? Imitation to what? Okay, maybe he'll stop being frightened? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, uh, maybe? Oh, yeah. Then is there a way that we can be saved? Tell me! I mean... Oh. Wh what? No, my body won't listen to me! Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, ah! Uh! Wait, I'm very confused. Whoa. What just happened? Aww. Whoa. Even if I rushed fixing her, this is just terrible. Time to scrap this piece of junk. Oh, so... Do we win? My nose is really itchy. It's just the outside of it. Oh my god. I'm sorry. You fine with that, Maple? Oh. Oh no. Ah! Ah! Whoa. What? What just happened? No way. My! I still have a promise to. Now, Maple, don't do that. She'll just end up like Kurumata that way. You have to finish her off. Stop, Midori! Kutaro. I'm so sorry. No. Oh my god, we're losing all the freaking dolls one by one. Ah! My! Good for you, you did the job right! No! <laughs> what would you like as a reward, Maple? Oh my god. I don't need one. Hey, Hiyori. Shall we die together? Whoa, what? Huh? Oh shit! Oh shit, is this something you didn't expect? Oh. Let's die, Hiyori. Oh shit. You die by yourself, I'm good. Oh. Ugh. Oh shit. Midori! Maple serious feel like apologizing now? Won't you resist? Feel like apologizing now? <laughs> For what? 
What's that? You trembling? Made the mistake of thinking that there was no way she'd resist? She's gonna kill you! Ain't nobody's gonna help! Yeah. You fine with that, dummies? If I die, your callers will... I'm the one who's pissed. Go apologize to mine in the afterlife. Ugh. <laughs> There's nothing left to be done. We just have to watch it end. Oh. Oh, shit. He already accepted already. Ugh. Stop this, Maple. Goodbye. Oh. I love you, Maple. Oh, no. Maple! Hurry and... Oh, God. I don't know. Um... That's a lie, Maple! I know, Hiyori is lying. No, I'm not. I really love you, Maple. Oh, God. Don't be fooled! I won't believe you, Hiyori. Together! Oh, shit. What? Whoa, what's happening? What? No, my bodies! Oh, God. Oh, come on. Oh shit, there's a fire. <laughs> she sure got close, but too bad. Damn it. I wouldn't say that. Hmm? Just now you were scared. Scared of Maple's attack she was ready to die for. You showed weakness, your fear of death. Oh shit. That's right. I was always thinking that Midori might be indifferent even to his own death. But I was wrong. Even Midori doesn't want to die. Talk about nonsense. What does knowing that do for you? If you see a weakness to take advantage of, just go ahead and try. It's the left eye. It's the left eye. After all, the only means left to you now is the banquet. Oh, shit. The banquet. Feels like we're on our last resort now. Where's Mr. Policeman? That was a weird way to do his voice. We got no time to look around. I'm sure he's safe. No. No, we need to get him. Right, this is our last chance. Until we're ready, I should talk with everyone. Oh. Okay. Is this gonna be like... The, um... The main game sort of thing? Oh, what? There we go. The banquet, huh? Got a bad feeling. True, there's a lot to be uneasy about, but... It's the most preferable. There's no other way, aren't you happy? There's no other way. Suppose so. Definitely preferable to be to being torn to pieces. But in the end, we'll run out of battery and cease moving. So you'd better bring us back, swear it. Right! Well, at least we didn't lose all the dolls. We only lost three. And we still have Hinako, Kuramata, and Hayasaka. But the other three died. Uh, well, <laughs> nothing you can really do about that. Um, I tried my hardest, but that these mini games are so difficult. <laughs> uh, Sock the gin. Reached a policeman, maybe a lady killer, but I'm uneasy without him here. Meow. Mm. Yeah. And also, Muscle Gorilla and Muscle Punk are both injured. Meow. Muscle Punk. Uh. Well, I'll be okay. Yeah, I'm only two. They got muscles, so we'll be okay. Everyone will be okay. Don't worry. Yeah, I'll keep an eye on them, meow. But you, Jin, feeling okay? I'm totally fine, Wolf. Good, you've gotten hardy, Jin. Fix this, Sarah. Depend on me any time, meow. Jin. Aw. Uh, let's talk about Kitaro. Hello, it's ready, Sarah. Kitaro, I'm still a little unprepared. Is your wound okay? What about you, Kitaro? Is your wound okay? Don't swear, Ev. If I made it this far, there shouldn't be no concern. I mean, Cephalin Sofal must have helped him with that. You seem pretty deep, I'm amazed. Kitaro, um, is there something you haven't told me? Hmm. I want to know all about what happened when we were acting separately. It's all just like I told you. Hmm. If you won't tell me, then I won't ask. I'm sure I can believe Kitaro. When you're, when you're ready, Sarah, give me a holler. We'll start preparing for the banquet. Okay. Um... Oh wait, maybe Red Mario was helping them. I don't know. Maybe it was staged? Maple's burnt out body. Oh god. 
All right, it's finally time. Kuramada. Do, Do you have battery? No, no, I like to know my, that myself. Anyway, I gotta tell you something. What is it? You told us that I'd protect everybody, dummies included. Yes, but it ain't like we all made it. Mm -hmm. No, we can apologize. I'm sorry, I couldn't keep my promise. Remember this. It ain't your fault. No point feeling responsible for it. Yeah, I thought you'd be nice about it. Kermada! We're about to fight Midori, ain't we? Focus on that, alright? Right! Alright. Kana? The banquet, I suppose it'll be a fight against Midori. Yeah, probably. Hmm. You're right. Don't like fighting, we just have to win. Well, yeah, I think she's right. Right, and if we lose, we might. No, I don't want that at all! Kana wants to protect everyone this time. Don't you despise him, Kana? Are you going to avenge your sister? Ah, uh, sorry, I shouldn't be saying that. As strong as she might have become, Kana's the middle schooler. What am I saying? So is this gonna end in, like, a fight, or are we gonna do, like, a logic thing? Because I thought we were gonna end, like, something similar to a main game in this game. No, it's alright. I just have this feeling that Kana's siblings don't want her to take revenge. Her siblings... But it's not good to obediently accept it, either. Don't give in. I feel like that's what they're saying. Yeah, definitely. That's what you should be following anyways, even if they're not saying that. Kana really has grown strong. Can I become strong like her, too? Uh, what? what? <laughs> you were looking gloomy, so... Hmm, feels like... Feels like kind of an ominous precedent. Yes. Alright. Miss Cheryl, we all... We owe you all a debt of gratitude. Kaisaka, same to you, you're right about that. Hoping for no, it would be nice. The same to you, if the dummies didn't trust us, we couldn't have gone this far. You're truly stupendous. In comparison, I was always just cowering. The one thing I can take pride in is that I never tried to harm Jin. True. Being that I'm a coward, I suppose that's only natural, but even so, I'm glad Jin could live. Yes. If we really do get home at some point, I hope to live reflecting on what I did. I hope that day, the day comes you can forgive me too. Hmm. And then right call. That KG still didn't show up, huh? Yeah. That's true. I wonder where he is. I'm sure he's safe. Should we wait for him? I'm, I wonder where he is. I wonder where he could be. Don't worry, we're here. You don't worry about a thing, Sarah. Alright. Don't be down. Come on, look at me. Reiko, what's in my eyes? Anxiety? Fear? Sure, if they came at us with violence like before, I couldn't be so confident we could make it through. But the banquet's a battle of wits, ain't it? Oh, thank god, I am so done with these minigames. I'm so done with them. We'll show them that's our, that it's our heads that got us this far. Alright. Alright, Reiko. Glad to hear it. We have to get up to the sixth floor. We gotta get to the sixth floor and find that secret escape. So, what now? It's a Gotham cage you in, though Midori was in it originally. Sarah, are you gonna start re preparing for the banquet? Hold on. Let's save real quick. It's gonna be our last chance. Alright. Yeah, well, I, I guess, I don't know if he was the one we were supposed to talk to, but it might have just been anyone you've already talked to. But, yeah. Yes, let's begin! Alright, here we go. I'm sure everyone, everybody knows, but... Now we're gonna have to choose who goes into the seven coffins. Hmm. Doesn't matter if they're alive or dead, someone, somebody's gotta go in, human or doll. Oh. Feels bad, but guess we gotta start with the ones we lost. I don't know if it counts as a proper burial, but they are coffins at least. What do I do about the rest? Oh. All the dummies go in, that'll do, right? Eh, Kuramata? Well, why not, if we're just getting in? Oh. Hinako got in the coffin. Okay. Now's as good a time as as any to show some backbone. Hayasaka got in the coffin. Hold on. Um, okay. Just checking my phone real quick. Mmm, excuse me. The burp. Mmm. All right. All right. Oh, that was very deep. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. 
Alright, now we'll put the bodies in! Okay. Is that enough? We put the dummies' bodies into the coffins. Oh. Last one's you, Kuramata! Oh. Huh? My legs feel weak. What, what? Uh-oh. Is he dead? Huh? Wait, can we- we can still put him in there, though. Even if he dies. I feel bad saying that, but I really- I don't know, these dolls are very different for me. Like, yes, they are- they already died. So, like, I mean, technically they shouldn't be here in the first place. I feel like that's just cruel already. What's the matter, Kuramata? It's weird. My body's... Kuramata! Kuramata! No, we're going to do the banquet together! Oh shit. Did you just lose battery? Ah! It's completely stopped moving. It can't be. No way. He's dead. No, he had long since hit his limit. In this state, he was only living by a continued miracle. Yeah. Wow, look at how muscular his legs are, and he's wearing pants. <laughs> Must be tights or something. No, why? Was he enduring all this time? We're, we're almost there. Please wake up. Hey! Just stop it, Kana. But... Roma didn't die from running out of battery. He died from his wounds. So his collar ain't gonna activate. Then... We can bring him back, sure of it. True. We'll save him, definitely. So please hold on. Mm. We place Kuramata's body in the coffin. Oh my Jesus. All that's left is... Uh, the last coffin. Yeah. Oh wait, the one that's broken, or that one? Uh, I'll inspect it. Okay. This one? Oh no, this one, okay. It's the coffin Keiji was in. Try to open it. I'll open it. No good, it won't open. We have to think of a way to pry it open, meow. Yeah. Uh. But, since the banquet isn't starting, does that mean it's empty? Then, Mr. Policeman really did escape, meow. Maybe. Well, then let's discuss who should go in the... Oh. 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 There we go. We weren't... It wasn't right. Whoa, the coffins! And who is in there? Is KG dead? Where did Romaro put KG? That's what I want to know. They completely buried themselves. No way! The gate! Hurry to the gate! Oh, shit. To the gate? Wait, what? Oh, the gate! Wait, oh my god. I'm saving, I'm saving, I'm saving. Oh my god, oh my god, this is intense. Oh my god. Holy shit. Oh my god, it's open! The gate is open! Go inside. Oh shit. Oh my god, this is getting crazy. Huh? Whoa, that looks like Meister. It reminds me a lot of Meister in the painting. Hey you have been withering away waiting. What? Well, what? Uh, where's everyone in the coffins? Uh, come on, not even a hello? They're fine, just fine, you'll meet them soon. Oops, pardon me. I'm Meister, who will be overseeing proceedings for the banquet. I freaking knew it, I recognized him. Now, I'm gonna have you select a challenger. What are you gonna make us do, meow? Oh, now, I can't tell you that yet. The game is Russian Roulette. It's a test of luck between the challengers. Uh, okay, if you don't know what Russian Roulette is, it's basically you put, um, oh, what, okay, you put one bullet into a pistol cylinder, then you fire it, well, then you, like, roll the cylinder randomly, and then you fire it into, next to, like, into your head, and hopefully it's not the bullet that hits you with the skull. That's fucking care, that's fucking crazy. Oh my god, I don't know about this, uh, oh Jesus. Allow me to introduce the other challenger. Midori! 
Oh, fuck. Yeah, what the fuck? Why is all this? Wait, what the theatrics? <laughs> now, which coffin will you pick first? First? Oh, God. These. The challengers will go in these coffins. Coffins again. Yeah, why there's so many coffins? Why, they're just the same kind that were in the cemetery. No traps here. And they're brand new and unused. Lucky you. Uh, if you're scared, want me to pick first? Well, wait. At any rate, let's look them over to make sure there's nothing suspicious. All right. Um, should we pick the left coffin? Oh, I don't know. Should we pick the right coffin? Uh, go ahead and check until you're satisfied. I kind of want to do this one. Alright, the left coffin. Coffin. Oh. Alright, but let's check them a little more. Taro inspected the coffins very carefully. How oh, did you put your sticky hands all over them? There's no difference between the two coffins. Seems that way. Nothing suspect. We'll go with the one Sarah picked. Okie dokie, and I'll go in the one you didn't pick. Okay. Where do we go in the right coffin? Was this really the right one? I feel like it doesn't matter. <laughs> now for you to decide on Challenger, feel free to take your time thinking it over. Though not so long the dummies run out of battery, of course. But what should we do? Who's gonna be confident once we know what the game is like? We have to decide now? Well, we know it's gonna be us. Come on, they always show the protagonist in these kind of things. You don't even know the rules! Mm. No, 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 no. Uh, I'll do it, meow. Shin? You can't. <laughs> no, it's dangerous. I'm always the one being protected, Wolf. You're all nice, so you never pick me at times like this, meow. You don't know what Russian roulette is. You don't know what Russian roulette is. Also, I am pretty sure that is what happened to the lit to Mai, the real Mai, because she had the two guns in her head. No. <laughs> But if that meant I only only I survived, I'm sure I'd regret it, Wolf. I'd feel like I was a burden. So I want you to let me do it, Wolf. I want to know if there were people who were saved by me being there, Wolf. That's you already have, because I love all of you guys. Oh Jesus! Did you just fucking run in there, Jin? No. What the fuck? <laughs> ah. Now let's move on. It's about time to start. Oh Jesus Christ. Um, okay, I don't know what's going on. The passage continues further in. Wait, hold on. Okay. <laughs> uh, I guess we're gonna proceed. I don't know what's going on. Um, we've arrived in, in quite the place. I don't see any coffins anywhere. What the fuck is that? Is that supposed to be like a soul? I look like a big ass moon sun. <laughs> Whoa. Now it's about time. Uh I'll prepare myself. I'm not going to sacrifice anyone. Wait, what's happening? Well then, let's begin, shall we? Come forth! <laughs> Whoa. What are these? But um, an amazing machine, isn't it? Coffins, is everyone in there? Oh, don't bother trying to open them, all right? Oh my god, what's happening? Because I've locked the coffins just now. At any rate, I should get closer and inspect them. Um... Whoa. Ah, uh, the platform rotated. Incredible, eh? Using this machine, you guys gotta look locate Midori. Oh. Mm, excuse me. Locate Midori? Yup, in one of these nine coffins, whoever hits their target first wins. That is the Russian Roulette Banquet. Oh, shit. You mean... Oh. Oh, no. Naturally, the challenger dies if they're hit. Oh. Oh! Then Jin's life is on the line? Damn it. Oh, shit. Hey, let us out of here! Are you outside, Meow? Big Sisera! Jin! Oh my god. 
They're completely soundproofed in there, but as you can see, you can talk via monitors. Uh, I can't see anything from here, Meow. Oh, shit. If only I'd known, I should've gone in there. Don't get it twisted, Sarah. Eh? We're the ones who can properly observe the situation from out here. True. That's right, what's important is winning and surviving. I'll win and save Jin. Oh, and by the way, it's a team battle, so Midori needs a button pusher, too. And I'll push the buttons in his stead. Oh, God. You ain't gonna cheat! My cheating is Midori's cheating. We'll share responsibility. You better not cheat yourselves, rule breakers. Get death. As if we even could- As if we even could! What? I've been getting the voices mixed up. Well then, once we decide to turn order, we can get started. I say it's fine for Team Jin to go first, having the disadvantage. Alright. Went a little long, huh? Let's start already. Russian Roulette. Banquet Edition. Begin! Oh shit. Oh no. Um. Oh boy. Oh my god, this is the freaking this is the main game music, isn't it? I don't know. I don't know what's going on anymore. <laughs> Extremely heavy air dominates the space. From what we heard, the rules are simple. Nine coffins. If Jin is picked, we lose. If Midori is hit, we win. I think this is supposed to be like the whole thing with the target in Jin and, and Kutaro um, in chapter two. I don't know. I think that's what this is. If Jin is picked, we lose. If Midori is hit, we win. Okay. What? Is it really that simple? Above all, it's strange that Midori, who should be in the coffin, in the coffin, isn't saying anything. Yeah. But it doesn't change what we have to do. We'll discuss it together and find an answer. Okay. By the way, you can rotate the coffins during your discussions if you want. Make good use of it. Okay. Save the game real quick. Um. Does this machine really just rotate? Can we look at it in more detail? Maybe. Okay, let's take a look at the machine. Alright then, I'll touch around and see if there's anything else we can control. Okay. Mm. Oh, this part of the platform. It shows the number of each coffin. So what are those ra these round lamps beneath the numbers? Round lamps? Hey, whoa, don't go casually pressing that. Will you tell me about it? Of course. See, these lamps are... A hint function. Hint? Yep, this is a game where you and Midori take turns selecting coffins, but... Before each selection, you get one hint. Once before each selection, can my opponent use it too? Can I pass on use it? Can I pass on using it? What? Oh, can't. Oh, I get it. Can I pass on using it? Like, can I not use it? Can Midori use that too? Yes, ma'am, and I'm sure he will. And what exactly are these hints? Too bad. Explanation ends here. Just see what happens and think about it. Well, what? You're good at puzzles, ain't ya? Mmm, uh, kinda. If we only use it once, I can't choose aimlessly. I want to narrow the things down to an extent first. I think we need to discuss after all. Okay. Mmm. Alright. We ought to think about how we can differentiate the coffins. Alright. Alright, let's observe. Alright. So he says, but... They all look pretty much the same. The only one we can identify is Anzu's coffin. That means there's only a 1 in 8 chance that we hit Midori. Yeah. Don't freak out, we could hit Jin too. Meow? That's a problem, Wolf. I can't die like this, Wolf. Right, but what difference in appearance is there? Hmm. Okay. Wait. Wait, don't we know that- we know the numbers of each coffin, though. So at least we know 1 through 7, right? I think so. There's gotta be something, right? Like a way to see th things that I can't see? Oh. Let me think about it. Yeah, okay, here we go. Now we have everything that we can use. So obviously, it's the lantern. 
active. Oh, wait, what? Oh, wait, hold on. Wait, did anything change? Um... Do I have anything else? Upgrade parts, ID card, first aid kit. Um... I thought it was the lantern. Oh, whoa. Oh. Wait, okay, let's take a look. Oh. Okay. So, number two... No, it was. It's not in the same order as those numbers when we did it with um, getting the secret room because Anzu's was not two. Um, okay. There's gotta be something, right? Like a way to see things the eyes can't see. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Right. Okay. The lantern. The lightest lantern can reveal things that you can't normally see. Why, I thought it was out of battery. Use the one I picked up. Okay, receive the lantern from Kitaro. I think it's the same as your lantern, Sarah. Thank you very much. Now let's try this. Alright. Ooh. Okay. I see. The coffins are glowing. Yeah, what do you mean they're glowing, Wolf? Hmm. I'm not sure of the details either, but there's something special to these coffins. Oh, they're the ones. Oh, they're the ones from the graveyard. So we need to figure out if Midori was in the coffin from the graveyard or in the two extra ones. We might just be able to tell them apart. Yep. Mystery of the glowing coffins. Okay. The coffins might must be made with a special material that glows in the lantern's light. Sarah Senpai, give it a spin around. Tell us how many glowing coffins there are. We saw the coffins glowing like this when we were off on our own, too. Alright. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, five. Okay, there's five. Okay. Okay, hold on. Well, how have you how have you determined it? Determined it? Yeah, the number of glowing coffins is five. Five. Oh, are there really? Yes. All right. So there are five glowing coffins. Ah, uh, I see. This has to be a lead. Let me think about it. Okay. Um. Five. You saw the coffins glow like this when we were off on our own, too. Yeah. Everyone guessed the same lantern would be on floor 5, too. We used it in the cemetery. All seven coffins started glowing. All seven coffins? This is an important statement. Yeah. I think we have to do this. Right. I think we have to... Yeah. So two of them aren't glowing anymore. Only five are glowing? Yes! What's that meant? When we saw him in the cemetery, it was definitely seven. By the way, there exist no other coffins than these. Oh. So the seven glowing coffins were reduced to five glowing coffins because... Oh, two lost their glow. There are coffins that lost their glow. Alright, why don't we think about what why that is? Yeah. Kind of confusing. The coffins lost glow. Okay. Uh, so first of all, Anzu's number two coffin isn't glowing. Is it because Maple exploded on top of that coffin, Wolf? But there should be one other coffin that lost its glow, shouldn't there? Mm. Is there another cause besides the explosion? Even little things matter here. Do any of you remember anything unusual that happened to the coffins? All I can think of is how their peculiar smell bothers me. Can't really think of anything. Maybe the coffins actually use power to glow. Surely they ran out of battery. Maybe. 
I think it's gotta be that explosion meow, like the heat of the blast. Uh, okay, let's just extract everything. Um, the dummies also run on battery, it would make sense if they're confiscated too. I think it's gotta be that explosion, meow, like the heat of the blast. The force of the blast, the heat from it. I can think of lots of causes, meow. Hmm. All I can think of is how their peculiar smell bothers me. I feel like staying in this coffin for for too long will give me my suit a stench. Haha. <laughs> hmm. Um. Nothing abnormal happened to my coffin. Nothing unusual happened at all. Really? Hmm. I'm not just asking about your coffin. Maybe. Maybe a nearby coffin. So stubborn. Are you hiding something? Huh? How do you figure that? If I if I had to say, I did pour some hot cocoa on Romano's coffin. Oh. But as if something like that is relevant. That's a new statement. Oh. Um. Coffee. Or not coffee, hot cocoa. What's everyone saying? Oh, I like this how that peculiar smell bothers me. Oh. Wait, isn't it? Maybe we can smell the hot cocoa? Possibly. Mm. Oh shit, no, we can't smell the hot cocoa apparently. I don't really follow, huh? <laughs> Damn it. Alright. Yeah, clear that. Alright. Um, do we have anything else that we can use, maybe? Actually, I don't think so. No, no, no. We don't. We don't. We don't. No, I don't want to use this. Go back. Okay. Um... Maybe the coffins... They ran out of battery. I think it's gotta be the explosion, like the heat of the blast. Um... Well, it is contradictory. I don't get it, Meow. Oh, uh, maybe not. Okay. Um... Ran out of battery, the heat of the blast, hot cocoa, smell. Okay, maybe it's this? Maybe it's the smell of the blast? Oh, I don't get it, meow! <laughs> Shit. Um, ran out of battery? I don't know. Oh, maybe the heat of the blast caused them to run out of battery or something? I don't know. Get it, meow! Damn it! Can I extract for myself? Oh shit! <laughs> okay, um. Hot cocoa. Did the hot cocoa make it lose battery? I don't know, that seems kind of stupid. Ugh. I don't quite understand. Shoot, that was a mistake. Damn it. Um. Smell. They ran out of battery. Hot cocoa. Mm. What? What have I not done yet? I haven't. I've done him with everyone, so obviously his doesn't work. And now battery and heat of the blast. I did that too. Cocoa. Heat of the blast. I doubt that's gonna do anything. I don't know. What? What? That doesn't make any sense! What the heck is this about? Hang on, Meow. I'm curious about that, Meow. Well, what? What's gotten into you? Shorty says the cocoa doesn't matter. The explosion and the hot cocoa have something in common. Being really hot. Well, what the fuck? That is so stupid. That doesn't have... What? No! That is, like, literally the stupidest reason. Huh? So what? Yeah, so what? So? He's not wrong that a blast and hot cocoa would both be high temperature. I mean, the hot cocoa isn't going to be that high temperature. Or if the heat had an effect, that means something melted? Paint? Oh. Oh, maybe. Oh, maybe. I guess. I don't know. Maybe there's something like paint on the surface of the coffins that glows from the lantern. Come to think of it, that would connect to someone else, something else. Um, the consent form in the back classroom. Yeah. The consent form. The consent form in the classroom. Had glowing paint. That black paint. Oh, the ginger ale. Yeah, it, it got rid of it. It glows. It glowed similarly when I used the lantern. And it's 
spray of steam got rid of it. Yeah. Whoa, so it was using the same paint? That's not unlikely. If the paint comes off at high temperatures, then I can understand why Romero's coffin would have lost its glow. And it's possible that a certain other coffin lost its glow as well. I guess. Another coffin that stopped glowing. That that could be it, I guess. <laughs> a coffin that might have stopped glowing similar to Romero's, that would be... Mmm... A coffin... That would have stopped glowing. Is it the one with the hourglass on it? The coffin Keiji was in! Oh! That coffin used a cremation system meant to grill Keiji alive! Sure did! Just touching the lid was enough to burn you. Oh, I didn't even think of that. I was thinking about the hourglass. I don't know. It was the only one that uh, also stood out. So Mr. Policeman's coffin lost its glow too, meow. I bet the melted paint got under the lid, which is why it got stuck and wouldn't open, meow. I guess. But that's strange. If we go with that, there's Anzu, Renmaru, KG. Three coffins stop glowing. Oh. Um... That ain't right, the numbers don't match! Uh, um, considering that, doesn't it make you wonder who painted them and when? Good point, I want to clear that up. Understood, let's discuss it. Okay. Who painted the coffins and when? First up, when I spun off from Sarah, all seven coffins in the cemetery were glowing. Ooh. Oh, okay. Um... Then someone painted the coffin sometime before we separated from Kutaro. I imagine it had to have been Midori. Surely the culprit would be one, wouldn't be one of us. Hmm. I don't remember seeing anyone acting questionably in the cemetery. Could could there not be a culprit, Meow? There must have been. There must be some meaning to them having being painted in the first place. Hmm. Okay. Let's extract. I imagine it would take some time to paint all of the coffins. True. Maybe it was Kenji? I don't know. First up, when I split off from Sarah, all seven coffins in the cemetery are glowing. For the record, there's four unglowing coffins now. There's four unglowing coffins now. You can tell if you light them up, but it's number two, number four, number five, and number seven. Yeah. Then someone painted the coffins sometime before we separated from Kutaro. But we wouldn't just miss something that's suspicious, would we? So it was when nobody was watching. Why back before- Way back before we even met Midori. Before starting? Yeah, to prepare for the game. I'm sure Midori repainted some old coffins that had been sitting around a long time. Is it plausible that's when he used the paint? I guess. Could there not be a culprit, Meow? The culprit doesn't exist! In other words, a ghost meow. The ghost of the person in that coffin played a trick, wolf. No. Um. Uh. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> Always joking, meow. Stop treating me like a troublesome kid, wolf. <laughs> I mean, it's a brand new coffin, so of course there wouldn't be a ghost meow. Brand new? Huh, Big Sis Sarah? You don't remember, wolf? Seaweed Head said, Ah, I can't wait. It's my first time using the fancy this fancy new coffin, meow. Uh oh. Oh, true. Come to think of it. I imagine it had to have been Midori. Surely the culprit wouldn't be one of us. Only Midori would get some these weird ideas. What kind of intention did he have? Can't even be bothered to consider it. Hmm. There must be some meaning to them being painted in the first place. I mean, so long as they haven't... Aren't... Wow. I mean, so long as they aren't lit by the lantern, their color isn't even any different. Why do I feel like the dolls aren't going to have anything to say about any of this? Seaweed so Head said, Ah, uh, I can't wait. It's my first time using this fancy new coffin. There must be some meaning to them being painted in the first place. And as it had to have been Majority, sure the culprit wouldn't be one of us. Oops. I didn't mean to do that. I'm sure Majority repainted some old coffins that have been sitting around a long time. No, wait. Okay, yeah, that conflict contradicts what Jin said. Very easily. That was very easy. Jin, is that true? Of course, Meow. Then it makes sense we didn't see anybody suspicious. A new coffin wouldn't would have been painted to begin with. Oh. Oh. So it was coated in, in paint back in the production stages. 
then perhaps it's a desiccant or a form of anti-tarnished agent. Oh. Um. And even the coffins outside the cemetery. Yeah, Meister said it too. Jin and Midori's coffins were both new. Hmm. So Jin and Midori's coffins both glow, both don't glow. Jin's glow. No, they both glow. Both of their coffins glow. Exactly, meow. But the numbers wouldn't would add up. It's not two out of seven coffins that no longer glow. It's four out of nine. Oh. Oh, okay. Anzu's, Remaro's, KG's, and one more coffin stopped glowing. There's just one we can't identify? But I suspect the last one would be among the cemetery coffins. It would be odd if it wasn't. Yeah. This is some amazing information, isn't it? Because it means that Midori is in one of the glowing coffins. Oh. Oh, then if we select the glowing coffin... But wait up! Same goes for Jin, too. Yeah. That's right, what's the point, then? Unless you got a way to distinguish Jin and Midori, it's still a game of chance. Yeah. One in five. One in five odds that we hit Midori. If we just miss, that's one thing. But if we hit Jin, Jin dies. Sure, don't you think it's about time we try that hit function? Yeah. We narrowed it down to five. If we used the hit, we might narrow it down more. Yes. You're right. I'll explain how to use it. Put the coffin you want to use a hint on right in front, then touch the platform. Okay, got it. I'll choose one of the glowing coffins to use a hint on. Okay. Let's do it. Using the hint. Okay, we're just doing the hints then. Okay. Um, well, it's already in front, so... Let's do it. The one in front is coffin number one. Should I use the hint on this? Yes. <laughs> I guess. I press the lamp. It lit up red. Oh! Wait, is that it? What's that to us? Calm down, Kitaro. That's what we're gonna think about. Yeah. I guess you're right. Alright. Listen, we can't use another hint. If we don't hit Midori, it'll come, ar it'll come around to his turn. Yeah. We have to prevent that. Jin's life is on the line. Okay. It's okay. Even the single lamp gives us information. For instance, the lamp's shape, the lamp's color, the lamp's glow, the lamp's temperature. Well, we can't tell the temperature. Uh, the shape is the same as all the other ones. The glow is probably the same. Okay, it's the color then. The lamp's color! It's color? Think about back to our searching on this floor. Okay. We saw numerous devices with a relation to color. That's true. That's true. <laughs> yeah. Um. Then we'll have to discuss what we can determine from the color, meow. We had the freaking ring. The boxing ring. Um. What else? There was like, the coffins themselves had blue, yellow, and red. Oh my god, I'm trying to make sure my mic doesn't move. Um. Yeah, no, there was more, there was more, but I just can't think of them readily. Oh, the books? Oh, and freaking um, Maple. Yeah, there's a lot, actually. There is quite a lot. Right, if we all joined forces, forces I'm sure we can solve this mystery. Well, what did he say? Uh, oh, then we'll have to discuss what we can determine from the color, meow. Okay, yeah. Let's uncover the secret of the color. Okay, let's go. Let's do it. The red lamp's meaning. All right. It's indicating what's inside. Red is red blood, which means there's a human in there. Maybe. Color, huh? Weren't there, there, weren't there those three buttons on Maple's back? Red, blue, and yellow. Hmm. Oh, so maybe someone angry? Come to think of it, I feel like I read a message involving the colors red, blue, and yellow. Yeah. Yes, it's the book. It's the book. It's gotta be. I'm sure if it's relevant, but when Mai did her fingerprint scan, there was a colored glow. Hmm. Kinda feel like it's gonna be hard to theorize just from the color of the lamp, Wolf. Hold on. Ew. <laughs> yes. Or I think it was... I'm sorry, I can't remember. I'm sure I, I would if I saw it again. Yep, we got it. Um... Yes, yeah, the green book, wasn't it? Wasn't it this? 
Oh, no? Okay. Sorry, Connor doesn't get it. Damn it. Wait, do we have something else? Um. Oh, no, not that. Oh, wait, yes, this. Maybe that. Um. A voice recorder. Wait, actually, yes! Wait, yes, this. Yes, this. Yeah, okay, that wasn't that difficult. That wasn't that difficult. Is this what you saw, Kana? What's that? We found this note while exploring. Which, which matches something that was displayed on the coffin control system. Yes. Ah, oh, that's right. Yeah. Exactly. I remember now, the colors were all explained there too. Blue human, red doll, yellow vacant. Oh. So it's a doll. Oh shit! So we just need to not hit a blue one, right? I think. Oh, and since it was on the coffin control screen. The colors would give you information about the contents of the coffins, wouldn't they? That's easy then. So, oh, but we have to get the right one or else it's gonna be Midori's turn. So the red color of this lamp. Red doll. That means one of the dummies is in there. Seriously, I'm starting to see some hope. Because everyone but Jin is going to be red. If we pick red coffins, we won't hit Jin, will we? Oh. Is that really it? Oh, God. Okay. Sarah, remember the coffin control screen again. Hmm. One blue. Six red. Oh. Wait a minute. Specifically, that message in the top right. Yeah, the, mom the numbers don't match up. Data log. Blue one, red six, yellow zero. Hmm, excuse me. Ain't this a record from a record from when the contents of the coffins are checked? I don't know. I'm not sure about that. Yeah, we didn't do anything like that, meow. Does it automatically make a record, maybe? So, when is this record from? Uh, start of the game, during the game. Wouldn't it be during the game? Was it recorded sometime during the game? I feel like it was there since the first time you saw that monitor. Uh, or maybe I was wrong. Uh, so at the start of the game. It must be when the game started. I'm guessing that note was a printout of this log. And since this says game start, blue one, red six, yellow zero. This is weird. Oh my god. That would place it at the very beginning, before Midori and the dummies came out. Oh. But, but wait. That would mean those seven. Had one human mixed in, Meow? Is it fucking Midori? Oh no. That's the real Midori, isn't it? But I thought So Yori was killed. Wait a minute. So Yori fucking met with Reiko. Well, I thought that was a doll. Well, it could have been a doll. I don't know. We don't know what's going on. Um, okay. A human among the dummies? Uh, who then? Who is it? No way, right? Look, let's calm down for a second. Can we be calm about such a thing? Plus, like, why do something like that? What should I do? I don't know what this fact means, but I won't be able to fully trust the dummies at this rate. In that case, I think it's Midori. Understood. Let's first make it clear who the human is. There's only two other dummies left that are alive. It's definitely, it definitely has to be Midori. Who's the human? I don't think it's Midori. Between the seven, the dummies, and Midori, there's one human mixed in. In terms of seeming human, my guess right might be my Red Maru. No. Clan Candy replaced his hand, meow. I can't imagine he was human, Wolf. Yeah. Being able to take your hand off doesn't necessarily mean you're a doll. True. That's true. Mm, I don't know. But I don't think it would be he would be him. Because we saw the victim videos. The deceased dummies were given doll bodies, weren't they? Yeah. Yeah. We saw we all saw our deaths in the victim videos. It's hard to imagine a human mixing in. We didn't see Midori's death. Um hmm. 
You saw them too, didn't you? Everyone pictured them those definitely died. Unfortunate as that is. Being able to take your hand off doesn't necessarily mean you're a doll. Midori's hand came off too. But that could have been a prop to make it look like he was a doll. A prop, hmm? So are you thinking that Midori's the human, Hiko? I can't say that for sure yet. But just remember this. Midori's with the organization. He can freely use everything in this facility. There's no such thing as impossible. Hmm. Time can he replace his hand, Meow? I can't imagine he was human, Wolf. And being able to use cool moves like spraying steam? It's unfair, Wolf. Is that cool? Meow, wouldn't you want that big sister steam from your hands? Hmm, sounds like it'd get hot. Anyway, I can't imagine anyone but a doll being able to equip upgrade parts, Meow. Hmm. That's what I'm thinking. Between the seven, the dummies, and Midori, there's one human mixed in. According to the coffin control system, there's a color code. Blue human, red doll, yellow bacon. And blue one, red six, yellow zero, is that's what... If that's what... Oh god. If that's what was in the coffins at game start, no mistake in it, there's one human mixed in. Right. The deceased dummies were given doll bodies, weren't they? It's unfortunate that they had it proven to them like this. Kana. Hmm. Alright. These dummies were given doll bodies. Between the set and the dummies Midori, there's one human mixed in. Yeah. Anyway, I can't imagine anyone but a doll being able to equip upgrade parts. Probably. Midori is with the organization. He can freely use everything in this facility. Uh. He can freely use everything in this facility. Right. Um. Midori's with the organization, he can freely use everything in this facility. We also learn deaths in the victim videos, it's hard to imagine a human mixing in. Wait a minute. Do we have the victim videos? No. Well, I mean, he, Midori wasn't in that victim video though, that's the thing. So, I don't know. I don't know if he's still alive or not, that's the issue. We don't- we just don't know. <laughs> this is kind of crazy. We can freely use everything in this facility. We can freely use everything in this facility. Um... The deceased dummies were given doll bodies, weren't they? Between the seven, the dummies and Midori, this one human mixed in. Uh... I can't imagine anyone but a doll being able to equip upgrade parts. Uh, wait, oh wait, isn't it this? Because you're talking about... No, you can't switch your... You can't put an upgrade part on there. Oh god damn it. Oh. You can't put an upgrade part on a human though. What's that supposed to mean? And she was saying that you don't need to be... Oh, okay, whatever. I don't know. Do we extract everything from her? There's no such thing as... Im There's no such thing as impossible. Uh... Is that true? Wait. Hold on, I need to start looking at the papers listing at participants of the death game. There are only 16 names here. A battery powered communicator should work if they. Okay. A voice recorder seemingly. It gives instructions to cooperate with a partner. On the back it says, please return on time. Uh. Game start. Okay. An ID card with Midori, real name Sohiyori space on it. Stocked with implements for treating wounds. Hmm. Which and body parts the dummies can attach? They can ha give special abilities. Um, how about this? Can I look at that? Okay, cannot look at that. <laughs> Good to know. Oh, not that. I wanna look- I wanna actually shoot this at... Maybe? No? Am I wrong about something, Wolf? Damn it. Uh, Midori is with the organization. He can freely use everything in this facility. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Um. Is this it? Wait, why is that it? I'm just thinking about... Th 
because that's the only thing that has his face on it. So I don't. It's the only thing that was related to him. So I don't know. Hey Nicole, I'm not so sure about that. About what? If Midori can freely use all the machines in the, the facility, why would he need to make an ID card? Oh. Oh. Oh! Ooh, okay, I get what she's saying. Oh, well, I mean, maybe he didn't necessarily need it. He probably went and prepared one so that we could be his challenges, right? No doubt he can use a face scanner or something instead of needing that thing. You never saw no devices like that! Yeah. Hmm, excuse me. All we saw was the ID card scanner and the fingerprint scanner. That's right, even if Midori's with the organization, there were machines he couldn't mess with without a registered card. A, a registered card? And why were Mai's fingerprints registered? Yeah. Uh, hold on a sec, you suspected Mai? That's wrong, Mai ain't with the organization. Stop letting your emotions do the talking, you wrestling old-timer. Oh shit. Don't call Muscle Gorilla names, meow. <laughs> That's what you're doing. Everybody, calm down. We can't be looking for villains. It's inevitable. Anyone suspicious is also highly likely to be the human. We don't actually want to suspect a fallen ally either. That's true. Alright. Well, let's prove it ourselves. That mines are ally. Okay. Oh, my fucking voice. It hurts every time I do guitar. <laughs> my fingerprint scan. I gotta find like a better way to do him. I always thought it was strange how Mai was the only one to pass the fingerprint scan. Well, I looked like she didn't understand why her fingerprints were registered neither. Uh, and also, Mai's final moments were clearly recorded in her victim video. It's all fake. Her attitude's an act too. Maybe her role was to move the death game forward. Maybe. Wait, oh no, I need to extract. Okay. I always thought it was strange how Mai was the only one to pass the fingerprint scan. But I don't think it's good to decide she's with the organization because of that. Yeah. Mai looked like she didn't understand why her fingerprints were registered neither. Mai's 100% innocent, I tell ya. I know that much. You totally trust her that much. Do you have any ideas? So, do you have any ideas? Did she attach a finger part or. I got nothing. She had to attach to any shitty parts. She just looked like the Mai in the victim video. Hmm. And also, Mai's final moments were clearly recorded in her victim video. I couldn't imagine it was a fake video. If you saw it too, then don't you remember? Mai was holding two guns pointed at her head, her face pale, her gloves ha gloved hands trembling. It was just too cruel. Her gloved hands trembling. It's all fake. Her attitude's an act, too. Maybe her blow is to move the death game forward. That's who Mai really is. Happily ever after not. Hinako. I know, what I'm saying is absurd. I So show some proof to deny it. Hmm. Was to move the death game forward. Uh. Western body parts of dummies can attach to the game. Give special abilities. I... I don't know. Ugh. Only two guns pointing at her head, her face pale, her gloved hands trembling. Why does he say gloved? Why did he say gloved specifically? She had to attach any shady parts, she looked just like the Mai in the victim video. Oh. Did she look like the Mai in the victim video? Wait, does she wear gloves? Does she wear gloves? <laughs> I think we're about to find out if she wore gloves. She not wear gloves. She didn't wear gloves. I didn't remember. Uh, I don't think there's a way to tell. Um, can I have a second? Are we sure mine never attached any upgrade parts? Ugh. Nah, she did. Kind of feel like she's she'd be opposed, you know, feeling feelings wise. And it's strange. The dummies have to look the same as their original human selves, right? But comparing with the victim video, the Mai we were with had no gloves. Oh shit. 
Gloves. It's true, in the video we saw... Oh. Oh shit. She was wearing gloves! Oh no. Oh no. Oh, what's happening? What's happening? Wait, really? Well, she's dead now. At least I think. Come to think of it, it's weird. Why was it wearing gloves from the start? If she took them off herself, we, sh we should have found them in her coffin. Hard to imagine Midori forgot. I suppose that must mean the gloves were taken off to attach a part, perhaps. Say what? Something got switched out before she woke up? Hmm. Okay. But, you could just put her gloves back on after attaching it, right? True, that's strange. Why were only Mai's gloves not put back on her, I wonder? The gloves were lame, the gloves transformed, the gloves didn't fit? The gloves didn't fit? Did the gloves not fit? The gloves shrank? No. The opposite. Her hands grew. Because they're not they were different hand parts. Oh my god, this is so weird. Opposite? You're saying it's because her hands got bigger? Yep. Yes. Exactly. Exactly. The hands that got attached to my were bigger than her original hands. That's such a weird statement out of context. Oh my god. This is so weird. I've come to an absurd conclusion, but it'd be consistent with the fingerprint scan. Like the creation of Midori's ID card. This floor's been designed to suit the floor master, Midori. So then, it's natural that the fingerprint scanner would also be configured for Midori. Did they switch hands? Wait a minute. Ah! And Mai's hand, which she used for the fingerprint scan, was bigger than her original hands. As if it were a man's hand. Okay, that's kind of loose. That's kind of some loose logic, but I'm getting it. Then, you're trying to say Mai's hands were Midori's hands? Oh, shit. Oh, shit, I didn't mean to open that. Hold on, when I just open, I think I just open. Oh, I just opened the freaking... Oh my god, I didn't mean to open the weather on my computer. Jesus. <laughs> I don't like this new Windows dead. Uh... <laughs> yeah, do seaweed heads parts meow? Not necessarily any old parts. We've discovered that blue means human, red means doll. Oh. Do you remember when she, when she did the fingerprint scan? What the fuck? What the fuck? It glowed blue. Hang on! That means my, her hands! They're Midori's human hands! What the fuck? How'd she move those? They what? Whoa. Ugh, ugh. You talk I'm doing his voice differently because it just hurts my voice to do it the other way. Kutara won't want to hear this, but it's possible that wasn't a fingerprint scanner. It might have been a blood tester that pricked her finger. You say there's blood in there? Oh my god, that's so weird. Emma, wait, how did she move it though? I'm so confused. Because she was able to move her limbs. What? What the fuck is going on? And Midori cut off his own hands to attach them to mine? That's fucked up. Instead, he equipped a rocket punch. Uh oh. That would give us an explanation where Midori is human and Mai is a doll. Uh oh. That is so weird. Wait, he put a rocket punch on his own human? What? That's insane. What the fuck? That just ain't right. I feel like this music is very appropriate for what's going on. Oh my god. Sorry, I'm burping a little bit. Can we really win against him? Against the guy who can calmly cut off his hands? Yeah, what the fuck? <sighs> oh boy. Oh, he's finally starting to talk, aren't you? <laughs> oh my god. You were listening this whole time? It was so funny! I couldn't hold it in anymore! <laughs> Oh my god. Bastard, what's funny about this? 
mean everybody's so horrified. <laughs> He's fucking psychotic. Well, why won't you pick your first coffin already? I'm about to die of boredom. That's right. If we reach a conclusion, we gotta choose. Right, what we learned in that discussion was Midori is human. Midori Midori is an unbelievable man, able to cut off his own hands. He's a human with blood flowing through him. And all six of the dummies are dolls. Which means hmm. Midori is one of the five glowing coffins. Yeah. We used to hit on one. Coffin number one. And we're told red doll. Okay. But Midori is a human, so number one won't be it. Which means Huh? So in the end, it's one in four? Oh shit. Oh shit. What? After all this discussion? If both Jin and Midori are human, then is there no way to tell them apart after all? Ugh. No way! Why has it come to this? We just need to calm down. Is there really no way to tell? Our, our, our options are... Oh my god, it's getting crazy. Pick the number one coffin knowing it'll be a miss. Or aim for Midori with one in four odds. With the possibility of hitting Jin. That can't be. Hey, but Midori doesn't know what coffin he's in, right? So, he could end up killing himself, couldn't he? There's nothing left to reason with. We have to think and choose. This choice can end up killing Jin. I absolutely can't choose wrong. Okay. Defeat Midori. Are we gonna talk about it? Shit. Oh my god, I don't know what to do. I'm gonna save the game. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Oh my god. 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 Um. Um. Kinda scared. Oh shit. Should we do number nine? Or should I do number one? <sighs> I always feel like Jin's gonna be in here. This one. We have to hit Midori to win. We can't take detours. It may be one four, but I'll go for it. I'm scared. I selected the coffin. Oh my god, this is fucking scary. I don't like the sound. Oh, well, is it the right one? Uh... Oh, God. What? Whoa. What in the heck? It drilled through the coffin. Oh, shit. You hit Kermada? Are you kidding me? Too bad you hit Kermada. Kermada? How nice that it was a corpse. You're all so lucky. I wish I could have seen it from outside. You gotta be kidding, Midori. We didn't hear it would be like this. This isn't what we heard. I want no part in this game. Let us free. Ahem. Oh. Mm hmm. Whatever. I don't know. Is there some kind of problem? What? The drill just pierced the contents, you know? The exterior is hardly changed, so it shouldn't add any noise to your deductions. Oh. Oh god. Victory is decided once me or Jin get Jin get hit. I haven't lied about anything. You! Shit. Getting mucked up by a big drill like that leaves no trace of him. You can't bring him back like that. Oh god. Relax! It'll be over soon when I choose Jin next. Oh shit. Oh my god. Midori selection? Uh oh. Well, well, what number should I choose? Miss Sarah, let's discuss it together. What? Why? Once I get him in one, it'll already be over. Oh. Quit joking around already. Huh, are you mad? What's the big deal? Kermana already had that gaping hole in his stomach. Now then, back to Jin's location. It's as much a game of luck for me as well. 
My favorite number is zero, but that isn't here, so... Where shall I... Where shall I use a hint? Oh, God. Oh, no. You've got pretty eyes. What the fuck? Uh, they're looking at something filthy, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what a unique response. Alrighty, I'll go with number three. That's my lucky number of the day. Miss Sarah, could you press the lamp on number three for me? Wait, I thought Meister was supposed to do that. What? Alright. Yeah, I thought Meister was supposed to do that. Wait. Okay, there's a lighting lit one. Midori said coffin number three. Should I choose this? Okay. I summoned my resolve and pressed the lamp. Oh. It could be Midori, though. You never know. You never know. It could be Midori. So we don't know if it's Jade or Midori. Eh? It lit up blue. Is it blue? I mean human? Then... Yeah. It's Jin or Midori. Eh? Hold on a sec, meow. Uh, a blue showed up already, Wolf? Oh, God. <laughs> what are you so surprised about? Going by your reasoning, there are, only, there are already only three choices, right? Of course, it's likely for it to come up. In fact, shouldn't you be happy your reasoning was correct? I guess, but... <laughs> were you not prepared? To lose Jin this quickly? Well, tell me, you're gonna pick it? Oh, no. But Bix is Sarah. It's okay, Jin. Midori, there's no way you can choose that. Hmm? If you do, there's a 50% chance you die. You must be scared of death. Still making that claim? Stop believing those convenient assumptions and look at reality. I even cut off my own hands for the heck of it. Then, go ahead and pick it. The number three coffin. Hmm. Okie dokie. Oh god. Meister, hit coffin number three. No. What? Roger that. Oh no. Big Sarah. Wait, he's not gonna actually... Wait, he's not gonna actually die, is he? Stop, that's absurd. You're going to decide your fate like this? Oh my god, are you kidding me? No. You lose, Sarah. Wait, no, not really, right? Meister selected the coffin. Ah! Ah! No, wait, no, wait, no, 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 no. Big sis Sarah! No. No. Oh, there's a human in there. I don't know who it is, though. Oh, what if it's actually not... Oh, my God. What if it's, like... Not a human. I mean, what, what, I mean, what if it's like a human, but like a corpse? And it's someone who's already dead. I really hope it's not KG. Now then, will we finish this so soon? Truly, this is fate being decided. Uh. Ash? What's this shaking? What? You're kidding, right? No way! Why me? This c- What? 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 She was a human? What? Holy shit, what the fuck is going on? Hinako? What the fuck? So close, you hit Hinako! What? Sh shorty Hey, why was it Hinako? Lu should be Jin or Midori, right? What's going on? Was our logic wrong? Um... We made some minor- major mistake! Oh no. Everyone, calm down. Let's calmly have another discussion. We can't. Everything has changed. If 
we get picked, we'll be killed without a trace of us being left behind. Please calm down. Oh, Jesus Christ. Hinako's blue lamp. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. According to the hint, Hinako is human. Our reasoning was all wrong. Should we reconsider it all from step one? Wait, what? The lamps came up red and blue, so the info on the coffin control screen was right. Hmm. What's, what's the deal? There was a victim video for Hinako, too. What the fuck is going on? I'm so confused right now. Am I going to get killed like that, Meow? Oh my god, I don't even know. Won't you rethink things, Miss Sarah? Hmm. He's too rattled for us to talk calmly. Am I going to get killed like that, Meow? Ooh, I'm getting get torn up by a drill. Oh. Calm down, Jin. We absolutely won't let that happen. I can't help remembering Meow. Those scary videos we saw before. Muscle Punk getting squished by the walls. The blood from Cotton Candy's stomach. Clown Lady getting cut up. Soon specks in the axe. Oh. Everyone had such pained faces, Meow. Jin! I, I know, Meow. I shouldn't be saying that. Uh, but I'm scared, Meow. Sorry, Big Sisera. We will save you. Hold on, Jin. Oh my god. Crazy. The lamps came up red and blue, so the info on the coffin control screen was right. It all makes sense, so why was our answer wrong? I have no fucking idea. What's the deal? There was a victim video for Hinako, too. It was played in the control room, yeah? It showed it clear as day. Legs dangling in midair, probably hung from something. She was dying. Oh. Wait, no, that's not... It was just her legs, though. So then, how is Hinako human? Uh, according to the hint, Hinako was human. That drill doesn't have any blood on it. But then, if we could judge based on that, that would remove the need for a hint. It might be, be it might be designed so we can't put it together using blood, yeah. I guess all we can do is think about Hinako's past actions. Did Hinako do anything like switch parts that only a doll could do? Uh I don't think so. Anything like switch parts. Probably hung from something she was dying. Oh wait. Was that really her legs? I don't fucking know anymore. I'm just like <laughs> throwing things out there. No? Okay, never mind. Never mind, that wasn't it. Um, the lamps came out red and blue, so the info on the control screen was right. Everyone in the victim videos had such pain faces, Meow. Our reasoning was all wrong, should we reconsider it from step one? Oh, wait. No, we didn't see her face, though, in her victim video. Yeah, we didn't see her face. We didn't see her face, though. Pain faces, eh? Because it was only her legs dangling. Only figures, Hinako was a middle schooler. Even as she endured, she must have been crying. <coughs> hmm? Hey, hold up, I saw the video, so why don't I remember Hinako's expression? Ah! Um, it actually makes sense you can't remember. It was... Yeah. Wait, why is Real Ranger being shown in the background? Because... Hinako's video was the only one that didn't show the victim's face. Yeah? Um, I didn't even notice that. Wait a minute. Wait, this is really weird now. Oh yeah, that's right! Ain't that kind of sketchy? We don't, know, we don't know if she really died. And if we didn't see her face, it's unclear if it's even Hinako herself, right? Wait, what? This is so crazy now. Well, still, she got called Hinako during the exchange in the video, right? She got called Hinako. That's true, and I'm kind of curious. If her logic up to now hasn't been wrong. Ain't it Hinako that's strange? Uh... Maybe? Wait a minute, what is going on? Wait, so she was a human? Oh my god, that sucks even more. Wait, we just killed a freaking human. We just killed a little middle schooler, oh my god. Well, I mean, it wasn't really us that did it, but, like, our actions caused it. A good point. Looking back, there were a lot of mysteries to Hinako's actions. Yeah. 
Is there a hidden truth there? Truth here? You might want to think about her a little more. Understood, let's have a discussion about Hinako. That's if we trust our reasoning, of course. Alright, fine. We have no choice but to cast our suspicion upon Hinako. You're the only doll left alive. <laughs> you have to... This is fucking crazy. About Hinako. Alright. First, if Hinako was really human, does that mean she was just acting it as if she died in that video? Okay. Uh, hold up. If her face wasn't shown, couldn't there be another possibility? Maybe the Hinako in the victim video and the Hinako with the dummies are different people. Is there any cl other clues besides the victim videos? Oh shit, this is not a lot to go off of. Does that mean Hinako is just acting as if she died in that video? If you think about it, nothing directly deadly was pictured in the video. That's true. All the other dummies had knives or access or other execution devices in theirs, yet... True, that is strange. What could it possibly mean? Hmm. Uh, any other clues besides the victim videos? Hey, Sarah, you remember seeing anything other than those victim videos that involved the victims? Something I saw while searching. The office, the classroom, the gallery, the locker room. It was the gallery. There's pictures. Well, we saw something in the gallery. On the wall, there are paintings of those, like, now who had become victims. Whoa, you're right! Oh yeah, there was one- there was one of those paintings I was wondering about. Oh, which one was it? Uh, can't remember that part. What? Ugh, that was a pretty minor memory, but come on. What should I do? If I have something that can jog Kutara's memory, I might want to show it to him. Uh... Oh, is it the lantern? Maybe the Hinako in the victim video and the Hinako with the dummies are different people. I'm sure the real Hinako died like in the video. And some mystery person took Hinako's place to blend in with the dummies. To make sure they didn't get found out, they probably imitated her appearance, yeah? Just put on a middle school blazer, gaudy socks, and dye your hair pink and they could be Hinako. Is that plausible? Um... Um... Wait, so we need to use- do we need to use the lantern on Kutaro to jog his memory? Oh, wait, is that it? Oh, what's up? You gotta use that to help me remember? Yes, take a good look at this! Oh, okay, so this is just one step. Whoa, I'm starting to remember! Um... I'm looking... I'm looking at all of them... Wait, is it the- is it that one right there? In the center? Or not. I have no idea. Let's look for a noble painting here. Why do I feel like it's this one right here? This one's a mystery. A painting of a girl in a middle school blazer and gaudy socks with plain black hair. Yeah. Yes. That's the one. Guitaro, please add that to your statement. You got it. I fucking knew it. I didn't recognize her that sprite out of anyone anyone, like, in the fucking game. So, it's gotta be that one, right? This was a mystery of painting the girl in the middle school blazer and gaudy socks with plain black hair. Oh, yeah, okay, that was a conflict, because she's saying pink hair, but he's saying black hair. Okay. Right. Alright, here we go. Holy Kutaro, ain't that- ain't those almost Hinako's features? Hey, ca calm down now. Similar as they might be, her most distinctive pink hair is different. Having the same clothes, but different hair, that'd just be... a different person. Uh, yeah... Yup, that's what I was thinking too. Uh, a different person! Yup. Seems it's looking more credible. Listen up, everybody. The paintings in the gallery are all victims who got involved in the death game and died. Yeah. Naturally, that girl should be one too. But nobody's seen this black-haired girl. That's gotta be because she died in the first trial without meeting anyone. Yeah. And also, Hinako's video. In the video of the first trial, she cl she's clearly being called Hinako. Meaning, this black-haired girl is the real Hinako Mishuku, who was killed in the video. Oh shit. And the dummy's Hinako. 
was an entirely separate human taking her place. Oh my fucking god. So what's her name? Who the fuck is she? No way! Can't be! Shorty was a human, Meow? She was a human, and... Wait a minute. Wait. <gasps> Wait, so she was a human. But we don't know who the fuck she is. Also, if she's a human, that means... That in this little game that we're doing right here... The two human coffins are Jin and her. So Midori is not a human. He's one of the red ones. Oh my god. In that case, wouldn't Midori not be human? He's one of the red ones. But Mai had Midori's human hands, didn't she? Um. Wait, that's true. Uh, well. I don't know. But I can't imagine either theory is wrong. Well, maybe it could just be true and they salvaged Midori's human hands. And put it on her. Right? Like, just because she had these human hands doesn't mean... Like, he could still be another Midori doll. You know? Like, just because she had these human hands doesn't mean that the Midori that we're seeing here is a human. Right? What is the truth about Midori? <laughs> you seem troubled. I'll make one rebuttal of my own to your theory. Oh boy, here we go. What? The dummies were explained to you at the start. They were picked from those who had no connection with any other survivors. Meaning... Uh-huh, I picked the real Hinako. I picked the real Hinako. But the Hinako didn't have any... connection to any other survivors. You... Wait. Oh, is he saying because he had a connection to Cell? I don't know. What's going on? <laughs> Supposing there are another one, even I'd stick to the rules. Oh, shit. Which is to say, the dummies would have included a black-haired Hinako. Oh. Oh, that's true. Wait, what? Wait, now I'm really fucking confused. What is going on? A black-haired Hinako with the dummies? Yup. Well, did anyone meet black-haired Hinako even just one time? No. No, we didn't. Oh dear, then it looks like your reasoning has gone wrong again, Miss Sarah. Oh god. No way! Does no one have any ideas? I mean, does anyone remember talking to her even a little? What is going on? <laughs> Ugh. What the fuck? Wait! Oh, shit. Wait, oh, oh, okay, okay. Reiko? Wait, Reiko knows something. Connection to Hinako. Wait, does she have a connection? There's something I've been wondering about. What? I can't ignore it anymore. Sarah, you remember when we first met Alice? Uh... Maybe? Alice? Wait, this is way early in the game. <laughs> this is like way early in the game. I don't remember this at all. We were asking him questions. And gave an answer like this. A speaker said something about a trial, but it was foolish. Oh, I committed myself to hiding. And say, Sarah, you don't have you don't happen to have some sort of item that comes to mind. What? Alice said a speaker said something about a trial. But it was foolish, I came in myself to hiding. A uh, speaker? Used in a first trial. Oh, is it this? Oh, it's the voice. What does that have to do with this? What we're talking about, though. Reiko, you're talking about this, right? Yeah. That's a voice recorder with a recording for a pair of first trial on it. 
for a pair. Oh, yeah. Listen to it again. Oh, okay. I pressed the switch on the speaker. This is the first trial. You have five minutes. If you cannot escape in time, you lose your life. You are not alone. Your fate is tied to someone you cannot see. However, if you refuse this connection and are willing to betray them, you can leave safely. Follow the voice in your heart. What does that have to do with anything? What? Wait, where was it? This was located in the locker room. I'm guessing it was a trial split between floor 4 and 5, where you kept in communication. The trials... Oh. He didn't have any ill will. I'm sure Alice just left the room entirely naturally. But his partner died. Alice won the trial by betraying them. Oh. Wait, how do you know this? He killed her. His partner, the real Hinako. What? Wait, why do we- wait, why are you making the connection that's the real Hinako? That is what I'm confused about. No way! This is why the real Hinako wasn't included with the dummies. Oh... Because... Because... She... Wait, what? Wait, no, I'm still confused. <laughs> The two formed a relationship of perpetrator and victim. That is a very loose reasoning. That's very loose. <laughs> um, I don't know about that. Hmm. Stripey. Alice, why didn't you give it any thought? No, Wolf, I'm sure it wasn't his fault, Meow. It's the kidnapper's fault for making us do this, Wolf. I mean, yeah, it is. I don't know, I'm kind of... I don't know, that's kind of still loose reasoning. Jin. This is terrible. We really are just thoroughly being played with, like, toys. But... Thanks to this, we've solved the mystery of Hinako. Without question, the dummy's Hinako, Hinako was human. Why... <sighs> the moment these hands attach to my... Uh, I guess I have to admit it. As a reward, I'll tell you. Like you worked out, I gave Mai my living hands. But even so, that's not to say it's only my hands. What? Why is this? Whoa! What the fuck is he doing? What the fuck is going on? So is he actually doll that I gave away? What? Yeah! His head spins? What the fuck? Stop that, that's creepy! <laughs> oh my god. It's demonic. Well, surprised? Um. Yeah, he's not a human. <laughs> you. You're cl you clearly ain't human. <laughs> I gave up my humanity. I split up and shared my body with a bunch of people, so I've hardly any human parts left. Oh my god. That is fucking creepy. Wait, so which one is he? Is he human or doll? What? <laughs> my body's over 50% doll. Surely you would consider me a doll, right? Is it though? Huh? What? In this way, the, bo the body can also be a majority vote. Fine then. Midori is considered a doll, it all makes sense. Jin is blue, Midori is red. This we can be sure of. Okay. So we got it. Whoa, now we can tell them apart. Well, do your worst. If you think that alone will be victory. Well now, you seem tired of discussion. Shall we have the challenging team use their hints? Alright. But wait a second. If he finds the blue light, the other blue light, then it's game over for us. Um. Should we do the that one? 
Oh, no, no, no. Don't use the hint. Don't use the hint, please. Alright, um... Alright, let's use it on number nine. And then go for it. Yes. Wait, what? No more use for a hint on that coffin. Oh. Oh, wait, that's the one? Yeah, that one's already been used. What are we talking about? This one, this one, this one. The one in front is coffin eight. Should I use the hint on this? Yes. I summoned my resolve. Impress the lamp. Please don't be blue. Okay. It lit up red! Okay. Woo! Uh. Phew! <laughs> wow. Red means it ain't gin. If this is Midori, we win. The same conditions go for the number one coffin that our first hit showed was red. Oh my god, that was a big sense. That's true. You know, I usually suggest we have a discussion on what coffin to target. Honestly, it, it, it's really either this coffin or the number one coffin. Wait, why is that? Why is that? Aren't there still more glowing coffins? Oh. And what if Jin's in them? I think we should pick coffins we definitely know have dolls inside, Sarah. Well, yeah. Hmm, excuse me. Everyone. You really okay with that? Wait, what? What, Midori? Picking red means you might be picking one of the dummies, right? Well, there's only one left. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't really care about Hayasaka. <laughs> I don't really care about him all that much. There'll be no trace of them left. You okay with that? Oh, I feel sorry for him. I mean, I feel sorry for him a little bit, but, like, not a lot. <laughs> I don't know. He's kind of weird. Honestly, that's, that's not good. I mean, he's a doll. He's not actually a human. Uh. There's a chance of anyone getting picked, other than Anzu and Amaru with the non-glowing coffins. Oh, uh, I guess. You'll surely prick an ally, Miss Sarah. There's only one left. No, everyone else is dead. Ugh, Midori. What's with his confidence? Our reasoning should be right. We should be backing him into a corner. So then, why isn't he scared? Why doesn't he fear death? Does Midori truly feel fear? I don't know. Is our logic really correct? That's probably it. Ooh. Just do it, Miss Sarah. Oh. Choose it! A red coffin for victory! It's a suit and specs! I don't really want to die, I want to live! Even being a doll, even being an AI, my body is precious to me. But I found something that I want to protect even more. Hayasaka. Please, save Jin, Miss Sarah. Oh, look at him. He's the only one left. <laughs> I wasn't expecting him to be the only one left. He just took his glasses off. Alright, we'll win. I'll protect Jin. Alright, alright, alright. Alright, leave this to me. Thanks to Sarah. Mm. It sucks, though, because he's the one that was the most close to Jin. No, I just have to choose the- I just have to choose, yeah. And this time, we'll hit him. We'll defeat Midori and win. Okay. I don't know what's gonna happen. Mmm, why do I feel like... We're gonna get... Oh, should I do one or eight first? I wanna do one. I'm doing one. Yes. Okay. This one. Number one coffin I tried, first use the hint on. I'll trust my gut. I'll defeat Midori and protect everyone. At least we know it's not Jin. I selected the coffin. Okay. Oh well, is it the right one? I hope. Uh oh. No way! Oh god. Sarah! Win for me! Jin! Protect him! Oh. Uh, ah! Oh, god damn it. Too bad you hit high sucker. Uh, again? I missed again? <laughs> See? You drilled through an ally! Oh, god. Well, now we have to protect Jin. Everyone else, all the fucking dolls are dead. All the dolls are dead. And Hinako wasn't even a freaking doll. That's the worst part. Oh, my god. I can't. This is fucking crazy. Although, we don't know where Keiji is still. 
I, I can't handle this. They're all going to be killed. Jin and the dummies. Everyone, be calm. This match hasn't been decided yet. Oh, but hasn't it? What's that? They're the ones who aren't calm. Here, let me summarize. How many glowing coffins are there in total? What are you saying? Five. Five! Correct, there are five glowing coffins. And you've hit Kuramata, Hinako, and Haisaka. Oh, jeez. Furthermore, you used a hint on the number one coffin, so... Ah! There's only one coffin left, isn't there? No. This is absurd! Oh no. There's no strength left in my legs. But Dory's explanation is correct. Oh no. I was thinking only about if we would hit him, not what would happen if we missed. He'll be able to select Jin with certainty next. Meaning he'll definitely be killed. That choice we just made was our final choice. Have I... Lost? No. <laughs> That's right. Come on, stand up, Miss Sarah. You still have a role, don't you? A role? Oh, finish this out. There's a hint in my stead and let me know where Jin is. Oh no. I'll let you say your goodbyes too, yes? Oh god. Goodbyes? Is this our last moment with Jin? That can't be. I see, so you feel too bad to show him your face. Alright, Meister, I'll just have to I'll just have you do it. Well, wait! I'll do it, I'll do it! So stop it! Well then, shop chop! Will it be blue or will it be red? I'm so excited! Oh no. My mind isn't working. Oh god. Oh no. I'm scared. Oh, that's all I meant to do. Okay. So, yeah, nine is the only one of the glowing coffins. No, wait, we have six, too. Wait, what am I supposed to do again? Seven, four, and five. I could do one of those. Oh, shit. No, wait, no, no never mind, never mind, never mind. Um, let's do this one. You okay there, Missy? I'd already specified a glowing coffin, right? If you can't do it, I'll do it for you. Oh. A glowing coffin. Oh, shit. Well, there's nine and six. Oh, shit. This is bad. Oh, which one do I do? I mean, we've already done one and eight. We should probably just do nine. Wait, no, nine's out. Never mind. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. This is even worse than I was thinking. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, okay, okay. We have to do it, we have to do it. I don't know what's gonna happen. Alright. I can't think at all anymore. And yet, I did as Midori said. I pressed the lamp. Oh no. Oh, it's Jin. It's Jin. Oh. It lit up blue. Ah, well done! It seems you found Jin! No way! Big Sarah! I... I... Jin! Please stop! This is just meaningless! Midori, you had your fun now, right? Rethink it! Jin's just a little kid! <laughs> I've hardly begun having fun! Oh my god. Oh, Jesus Christ. I wish I could play more, more, more! <laughs> no. Big Sarah. Oh, shit. I'm sorry, Meow. Jin. Why are you apologizing, Jin? I'm, so I'm sorry. Sorry, Jin. I couldn't protect. That's not true. Because you were there, Big Sis Sarah. I wasn't scared. Even now, I'm not. No. I can't do this. This is... Take care of everyone, Meow. And find Mr. Policeman Wolf. No. Is it KG in there? Is KG dead? KG? There is one coffin that was already closed. We never got to open it.
Oh my god. I agreed to devote myself to Asunaro for granting my wish. Consent form. Oh boy. What's happening? Matori! What? Still pleading for life? Am I right about this? Because there was one coffin that was still closed. We don't know where Keiji is. Maybe. Still pleading for life? You haven't granted it. The consent form wish. I still haven't. Oh. Oh. Huh? You're obligated to listen to my wish. What are you saying? Invalidating the results of the death game is off limits, Miss Sarah. We haven't come to any result yet. Because this lamp is just a hint. You're truly ridiculous. I'm making a demand. Just this once, change your selection, Midori. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. This isn't like you. It's too, much too lame. The more, mere hair splitting. I'm the floor master. The rules are all up to. That's some interesting hair splitting. Meister? She's got a point, Midori. It's not altering the outcome, just changing the process, Dad. And didn't you say you wanted to play more? Oh shit! Don't be absurd! This isn't. That isn't for you to decide! Let me out! I'll manage the controls! We're still in the game! That'd be a rule violation! Meister! <laughs> oh shit. What's what this person? Why is he judging in our favor? Wait a minute. Doesn't he have the similar stance to Sarah's dad? Am I like calling everything? Is this Sarah's dad? Why else would he be judging in her favor? First of all, I just noticed, I was trying to think, like, I was, so, like, basically, he was saying, wh who would be this person? Why are they judging in our favor? This person could literally be anyone, because they have stuff on their face, right? Couldn't this be her dad? I'm trying to remember, does he have a similar stance to this? I'm trying to, like, justify it so it looks like I'm not cheating, because I really am not cheating. This is, like... Because if it ends up being right, this is going to be like a huge call of the century. I feel like this is like a big brain. I hate it when people like figure out things before things. But I mean legitimate. Like, I think it might be her dad. It's just a guess. Calling from my own mind. I didn't use any help on my phone or anything. My phone is off. That's the only device near me. I'm not cheating. I think this might be her dad. Didn't he have a similar stance? I don't know. I don't know. He definitely had a similar frame. I remember that. Because I, I can't remember everything about his figure, but... <laughs> uh, I don't know. It could be possible. I probably look insane right now. I need to calm down. Um, We're at like two hours in the recording, but I want to keep going. I'm going to go to like at least two and a half hours. He says it's changing the process, but... If Midori accepts my wish here... And we'll definitely be able to hit him next turn, won't we? So doesn't it amount to changing the outcome? Hmm. <laughs> it ain't gonna end. Midori, hurry up and pick a coffin to target. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> Number two. Number two? Is it not Anzu's coffin? Why? No need to belabor the point. Do it already, Meister. Alrighty, as you command. Oh, shit. Wait, what? So, Meister selected the coffin. Okay. Now then, who's gonna be in this coffin? Oh. Wait, what? Did I just see red? What was that? Ah! ah! What? She was drilled. Okay, so I just want to say real quick, another reason why I think it might be her dad is because I know that we're getting to the end of the game because the next part after this is going to be the end of the game. And if you remember, there was like a... Um, right before we started this chapter, 
Sarah was talking to her dad, and he was like, long time no see or something. Or like, maybe it's time for you to learn the truth or something like that. Don't you remember that? Like, it was like right at the end of the second chapter or right before the, the, the start of the third. So, I don't know. I mean, it's possible. Just saying. Uh, she was drilled. Oh, yeah. Ah, too bad. You hit Onzu. Sheesh. Ah! Because of me. Ah, too bad. You hit Onzu. Sheesh. Wait, why did he... Why did they say it twice? Uh, how does it feel, Miss Sarah? Because of your wish, this time Onzu's an unrecognizable mess. Oh, God. I'm sorry, Onzu. Sorry? Am I looking for forgiveness? I've just drawn a clear line. I sacrificed one of the dummies to save Jin. I discarded the doll so a human could live. I can't cover that up anymore. Yeah. It doesn't matter. However brutal it is, I, I'll do anything. You're going down. With our next choice, we'll deal the final blow. Yeah, that's all we can do. We're clear- we'll clear the dummies' regrets right here. We'll save Jin. I don't want to lose to this guy, Meow. Oh, really? I too hope you can. Oh, shit. We'll do it. Oh my god, is this gonna actually work? Let's begin our final discussion. Okay. Final gamble. Alright. Now, there's just one thing to wonder about. Whether or not we target the remaining number one coffin. What do you mean, Meow? There's clearly no other option, Meow. I mean, there's only two glowing coffins left, Wolf. And one has a hint, Meow. If I'm in the blue number six coffin, you already have the answer, Meow. That's true. I don't know. If you look at it plainly, Midori must, really must be in the, eight, in the number eight coffin. Hmm. Um... I'm gonna have to wonder about why Midori chose Anzu's coffin. Yeah. Listen, we can't accept the loss. We got the dummies' regrets on our backs. Hey, hey, shouldn't we, we be thinking about whose side Meister's on, Meow? Whose side? Yeah. I'm actually kind of interested about that. Yeah, who is who is this Meister, anyways? I don't think we should trust him, Wolf. He's just acting impartial, but really, he's on Seaweed Head's side, Wolf. And Shorty, too. Shorty. Oh, yeah. I don't want to suspect her, but maybe she was with the bad guys, Meow. Jin. I mean, it has to be right. Shorty must have worked with Seaweed Head, or she could have blended in as a fake Meow. He has a point. If both Meister and Hinako are on Midori's side, there may be traces of them preparing things for this banquet. Hmm. So you have to wonder about why Midori chose Anzu's coffin. From Midori's perspective, he could have picked whatever. Well, I wonder, was there a reason he had to pick Anzu's coffin and not one of the others? Rico, what do you mean? Ugh, well... It's gotta be because Anzu's coffin is the only one he we knew the contents of from the start. Yeah. That's true, only Anzu's was known. Yeah. Listen, we can't accept the loss. We've got the dummies' regrets on our backs. The dummies were created to kill us, but... That don't matter... Nope, that don't matter none. Fermata, Hidako, Hayasaka, Anzo... Anzu... They were all our allies in the end. We gotta show him the weight of that. Alright. If you look at it plainly, Midori must really be in the eight, number 8 coffin. By all means, we should have the answer. But something does seem strange. When Midori planned ahead to this extent, we stand no chance. Chance. Just how deeply did he consider? Kana, calm down. Has our opponent made any kind of mistake? Like a careless statement, for instance? Careless statement? What? Um. Shorty must have worked with Seaweed Head, or she could have been done it as a fake. It's got because Anzu's coffin is the only one we knew the contents of from the start. Kuramata, Hinako, Hayasaka, Anzu. They were all allies in the end. Um. Is it. 
It's gotta be because Anzu's coffin is the only one we knew the contents of from the start. Is that the thing that he lied about? Or said something about? No? Okay, okay. Not that. Oops, oops, oops. No, no, no. Clear it, clear it. Um, Jordan must have worked with Seaweed Head, or she could have blended in as a fake. Um... Maybe it was this? I don't know. Oh god, okay, it's not that, it's not that. We have a lot of tries. Kuramata, Hinako, Hayasaka, Anzu, they were all allies in the end. Was it this? Um... No? Okay, okay, okay. Has our opponent made any kind of mistake? Like a careless statement? Must have worked. Shorty must have worked with Seaweed Head, or she could have blended it as a fake meow. Either worked with Seaweed Head, or she could have blended it as a fake. What happens if I extract again? Hmm. Uh. Um. I don't know. It's gotta be because Anzu's coffin is the only one we knew the contents of from the start. Damn it. Has our opponent made any kind of mistake? Wait, what about Ren Maru? Why is he not. Wait, Kitaro's not talking about Ren Maru at all. Um. Hmm. Upgrade parts. Game. Oh. I don't know. Is it this? Oh, no, okay, it's not that. Um, I don't know what it is then. Oh, maybe I should save just in case <laughs> something bad happens. Uh, wait, can I save? Okay, yeah. Save the game. Shorty must have worked with Seaweed Head, or she could have blended in as a fake meow. Shorty. Maybe it's something I wouldn't guess again. Oh my god. Sorry, my mic is moving a lot. Yeah, maybe it's something that I wouldn't guess to put together. Okay. Wait. Oh yeah, that obviously contradicts because he mentioned Hinako too. Duh. What am I doing? <laughs> Muscle Gorilla, don't be fooled, meow. Yeah, exactly. Well, what's that, Jin? <laughs> You say they're all allies, but Shorty might have might have been an enemy, Meow. Guess so, but even Hinako was killed. I want to believe in her too, but will, will we find the answer that way, Wolf? Can we really win, Meow? Ugh. Sorry, let me think this over. Okay. Seems Kutara re reworked his statement. It's true. Hinako might have been her enemy. Um. Hmm. Uh, maybe this? No? Okay, okay. I don't know. I'm very confused. Or she could have blended in as a fake meow. Unicorn might have been her enemy. Well, I don't. I don't know. Wait, was there. Wait, was Unicorn on this list? Okay, I don't even know. I don't know what to do. I'm very confused. Um, oh wait, am I supposed to extract? Oh, oh okay, okay. There we go. But if that's the case, why did Hinako get killed? I was just like, sure, why would, what was Hinako trying to say, say in her last moments? I'm a fag, not even being able to remember. You can't remember? Oh, well, okay. That's easy. Use the lantern on him, and then maybe he will remember. Yeah, that makes sense to me. Okay. You're gonna help me remember again, huh? Yes, look into this lantern. Alright. Eh? Oh, I'm starting to remember now. Alright, let's think about any statements that seem curious, just like before. Okay. Eh? What's this shaking? You're kidding, right? No way! Why me? This can't... Wait, she said, why me? See? 
Seems she couldn't believe what was happening to her. Yeah. Should I have him add this statement? Yes. Yutaro, please add that to your statement. You got it. Interesting. You're kidding, right? Seems she couldn't believe what was happening to her. Careless statement. Wait, yeah, yeah. Careless statement right there. Yup. That was the careless statement. Oh, really? Oh, shit. Wait a minute. Maybe she couldn't believe what was happening to her. Uh, it's gotta be because cause Anzu's coffin is the only one we knew the contents of from the start. I don't think that's anything. I don't think that's wrong or anything. So maybe that's not it. Shorty must have worked with seaweed head, or she could have blended in as a fake meow. Oh, maybe it's this? And that? Does she work with him? Oh, damn it! Um. Shit. Oh, damn it. I need to do it again. Yeah. Alright, what well, maybe is a different statement? Eh, what's this shaking? Shaking. No, that was in... No, 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 that was in another coffin, too. You're kidding, right? No way, why me? This can't... This can't... Wait, is that it? This can't be happening. Oh, maybe. Wait, that could be it. Alright, is this it? Is it that this can't be happening? Oh! I didn't even piece that together. Okay. Yeah. I guess that's more important than not believing that it's happening. I guess. I don't know. What did you just say? Even though she didn't actually say the full word. Mm, uh... I said this kid. Um, this might sound strange, but maybe Kinako didn't mean to say this can't be happening, but rather this coffin. What? Why me? This coffin. What about that coffin? Coffin? Yes, Kinako was working with Midori. Maybe her coffin wasn't planned to be selected. Oh. But then it was. She was betrayed. What does this mean? Oh my god, my nose. The reason she thought she wouldn't be selected, do you know it, Sarah? Because it was marked. She was told the number. It was a non-glowing coffin. Is that why? Was it a non-glowing coffin? Oh. I guess. Because it was a non-glowing coffin. That would take her out of the selection from the start. Oh, but Hinako's coffin was glowing. Uh-huh. Okay, that was not it. Then the idea is wrong. Wait. Is it wrong? Big sis Sarah? Hinako had hot cocoa, right? Yeah, she spilled it on Con Candy's coffin, meow. Con Candy's. What if the reason Hinako had that hot cocoa was to pour it on her own coffin. Oh. Yeah? Did she pour it on Con Candy's coffin to cover up what she was doing? Yeah, she carried out her plan in the confusion. If this is true... Meister, tell me something. What is it? While this device was being set up, was it possible to trade coffins? Oh. Is it? Possible to trade coffins? Well now, I suppose you could. What? Say what? I locked up when started, yes? Until then, everyone could do as they wished. Then maybe... The incident happened just before the banquet began. While all the coffins were buried underground. What? Oh no. 
And at, at that time, Midori came out of his new coffin and called Hinako to trade coffins with her. Oh. He what? That's gotta be cheating. But why did Hinako make the trade? I'm sure she didn't necessarily know everything about how it works. And she didn't even consider that she would actually be betrayed. Oh. Well, how about it, Midori? Hmm? This trade thing wasn't in your plan, right? At first, you wanted to simply enjoy the game. But you started to fear you'd die. So you called Hinako and swapped with her. Oh, shit. I think it's right. So what? You're acting all proud like you've won. But what does knowing that do for you? Huh? You swapped with Hinako, so you must be in a non-glowing coffin. There's three of those, right? Oh, shit. Just take a look. You have to pick me from among the three non-glowing coffins. And you have no more clues. Th that can't be... Oh, yes. You could use your last hint. But whatever you pick, it'll just be red. What? Go ahead and discuss it all you like. Oh, shit. That's exactly what I intend to do. Yeah, I guess that's all we can do. Three non-glowing coffins. Alright. This is bad. But guys, don't just be silent. We gotta figure this out. Well, from what we've worked out, Midori's in one of the three non-glowing coffins. Alright. Midori's in the coffin that Hinako was originally in, right? Yeah. Keiji's coffin is also one of the unglowing coffins, right? Isn't it? Hmm. I think we have to use our hint meow. I don't think that's the case, Jin. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna help. Seaweed heads a liar, Meow. It'll, it's not guaranteed it'll be red, Meow. That's true, there's Keiji's coffin. Yeah. I don't want to think about it, but if Keiji's really in there after being executed, it'll show blue. But Midori isn't considering that at all. Why is that? Um. Alright. The door is in the coffin that Hinako was originally in, right? Ain't there something like it's a little cocoa colored? Hmm. I've been observing them the whole time and no. Grah! What should we do? Shit. Well, from what we've worked out, Midori is in one of the three non glowing coffins. We just gotta choose one and three. But how can we tell them apart anymore? Keiji's coffin is also one of the unglowing coffins, isn't it? Yeah. We can be sure of that, can't we? But I think we've come this far not knowing whether Keiji's in there. Oh, shit. Okay. It's no use. I can't see any other options than using our hint. And if that's only going to come out red, like Midori says, it'll be one in three. And since Jin's coffin is already known, if we miss Jin's life, really is forfeit this time. You just have to try, Meow. Jin. I'm ready, Wolf. I'll be okay, whatever the result is. I want us to stand against this together, Meow. Jin. Let's stand firm. We'll stand against Midori. I'm prepared too. Oh my god. The final hint. I'll use the hint on a known long coffin. Okay. I'm gonna save my game because I feel like this is gonna be like the final decision. This is gonna be the final decision. Ooh, I'm scared. I'm really scared, but I got to. Okay. All right, let's look at the non-long ones. We have, let's look at all our options. So we have seven. Wait, what? Oh, okay. We got seven. Five and four. God, which one do I choose? Uh, I'm scared. Um, five? I don't know. No, no, no. Not coffin number six. <laughs> I'm stupid. Uh, no, damn it. I want to do number five. Okay. Let's do five. Coffin number five. Should I use a, a hint? This is the last hint. 
we don't learn something, there's nothing more we can do. Still, I summon my resolve. And press the lamp. What the fuck? What the fuck is going on? Oh my god. Now it's a 1 in 2 chance. Okay. How is there another human here? There are three humans on the fucking screen, what? Is it up blue? Yeah, what the fuck is going on right now? I'm so confused. Wait! Now that there's two blues, Midori... ...can't get it right, right? Is Keiji dead? No. It really came out blue, Meow? Blue means human. Then it's not seaweed head, Meow? It's Mr. Police's man's coffin. Oh, no. Oh, shit. No way, Meow. So Mr. Policeman really was executed then, Wolf? Wait, no, he wasn't. He wasn't. He's still in there alive. He's been so quiet this whole time because we know he didn't get executed in there. So he went back in after. Oh my gosh, we have a 1 in 2 chance of saving Jin. Holy shit. Oh no. KG. That's wrong. KG escaped. If he escaped, what does this blue mean? What is inside? He went back in. I don't know. I don't know, but... KG has done something for us. He's still in there. Two coffins left, Midori. Okay. Sarah. Now it's one and two. I don't think there's any more we, any more we can figure out from the discussion. We just have to choose one. I believe we'll win. This time I will defeat you, Midori. I am scared. I'm scared. Oh my god. I'm gonna save. I'm gonna save my game. I'm gonna save my game. I'm gonna save my game. Okay. Seven or four. Wait a minute. Seven's a lucky number. I feel like I should go with that. Four is not really a lucky number. Let's go with seven. Right? I don't know. I'm just gonna go with my gut. I'm gonna have to go with this and just see. I've decided. The person inside here is either Midoriya or Renmaru. If I miss, Jin will die. My hands trembled. Tremble. Even knowing I have no choice but to press it. <sighs> Please give me courage. Good luck, big sis Sarah. I believe in you, meow. Oh no. I selected the coffin. Oh, well, is it the right one? Who did it kill? I don't trust this. There's no response. What happens? Is it over? Now, the result is... is... What? No! What? Too bad you hit Ranmaru. Huh? Ah! 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 Was that supposed to happen? Ah! Wait a minute. It's all over. I couldn't protect Jin. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't save anyone. Wait. Wait, what? Oh, shit. You can't give up, Sarah. Whoa. He's alive. What's up? A voice. No, it's just an illusion. Besides, even if you tell me not to give up, it's clear which coffin Jin is in. It ain't like you, it ain't like you think, Sarah. What? Ugh. Have to pick. What? Midori? Damn it, what's going on? The number five coffin should show red, right? Didn't Keiji escape? 
You must have put that in there instead. <laughs> Seems it was effective, our final trick. Trick? Kutaro, what did you do? <laughs> when did you decide that was Keiji's coffin? Then... Are you saying it's Jin's coffin? Wait, what? No way, during the final coffin check, did you do something with Jin's coffin? That's inconceivable! Then go ahead and pick the one you believe in! Ah! Whoa. What's going on? There's so much I don't understand. Even still, Midori's backed into a corner. I'll give you the explanation later. This is the final trap me, Mai, and Keiji put together. If you let him think calmly, Midori might notice what's up too. You gotta thoroughly corner him. Refute his ideas and break his brain. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Oh shit. Oh shit. Ah! Oh my god! Okay, we're gonna keep going. We're gonna keep going. Oh my god. I have to pick the statements of Midori's that seem most refutable. This is gonna be a really long episode, but I don't care. I have the space on my hard drive to do it. <laughs> I'll make him unable to think this over really over properly. Why was that coffin blue? There's no way KG's inside. Jin being inside is even more unthinkable. Uh. No way KG's inside? Why are you able to say that? We saw the cremation system being activated. Shouldn't it be most natural for you to think that KG's inside? Ugh. Foolish. It must have been the deception. KG escaped from the coffin. The control system worked and, o and opened up the coffins. And the victim video's playing was proof of that, yes? And the victim video's playing was proof of that, yes? Those dying moments of the six dummies. Did the coffin control system really work? Naturally. I'll explain it to you, so listen up. Ugh, you give me a warning. Wait, how are the victim videos proof of that? Those dying moments of the six dummies? Uh... I'm sure you weren't watching whether the videos played or not. Eh, anyone could watch them if you went to the control room later. Shit! And you brought up the videos during your discussions, didn't you? Ah, oh, shit. Okay, this one. The dying moments of the six dummies? That's wrong, Midori. Hinako's video showed the death of the real Hinako. Someone separate from the dummies, Hinako. But be quiet, what do these de those details matter now? What's important is the coffin control system functioned properly, because the victim videos were set to play as a reward for activating it. What about that as a reward? At any rate, the real question is of Keiji's actions afterward. Keiji's actions afterward. Keiji must have learned how the banquet works somehow. I bet he heard it from Maple. Or maybe Shin, that traitor? Wait, no. The Shin AI was in the control room on floor 5. There's no way Keiji could have talked to him while he was stuck on floor 4. But then he appeared, heard it from Maple, that sells it. Having learned from the, about the banquet, Keiji began his scheme to ensnare me. I'm sure he put something else inside the coffin. He could just use my doll in place of a corpse. The coffin's identity identify contents by the type of collar, all told. Coffins identify contents by the type of collar. Holy really? A doll view Midori? Where would he acquire something like that? You didn't see it, but the one was on that floor. Well, what the? I'd prefer if you didn't blame your deficient searching efforts on me. I can't re respond to that. I'm sure you put something else inside the coffin. Coffins identify contents by the type of collar, all told. Uh, right, because it's the first I'm telling you. Oh shit. After all, both humans and dogs would be reduced to cinders by the cremation system, right? So only things that can withstand the heat would remain in the coffin. Namely, the collar. What? And Keiji must have thought like so. Uh, oh shit. Keiji figured he'd make a use of a certain collar in my collar, which was in the control room. Not even realizing that's just what I wanted him to do. I don't think it's the one on the bottom. My collar, which was in the controller. Keiji figured he'd make a use of a certain collar. Wait, 
What? You use your collar, Midori? That's impossible. Your collar would show the same thing as the dummies, red. But what actually came up was blue. How do you intend to explain that contradiction? Why, you? You're being so annoying right now. I don't know, so I'm thinking about it. And you're getting in the way. Midori, there's only one answer that makes sense. Oh shit, what is it? What? It's simple. Your reasoning has all been way off the mark. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Are we gonna get him with this? I did it, I refuted them all. Oh man. From the beginning, Midori's been thinking that coffin didn't contain KG. Oh my god, my, my freaking nose is so stuffed right now. It's ruining this. Well, it's not ruining it, it's just making it worse. <laughs> Ugh. Distracting me at the very least. But rather, his caller from the control room. So he was convinced it would be red. Mm. You're saying it's all wrong? Then who's in there? Is it KG? It's de- it definitely can't be Jin. Jin, above all, would be impossible. Yes, I'm certain. Oh. You have no allies to support you when you're faced with dilemma. The dilemma. Because you killed them all yourself, Midori. Now choose. Decide your fate, Midori. Ugh. 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 Oh, shit. Oh, shit. All right, I'll choose. My sir, the coffin I'm picking is... Oh, fuck. Number five? Oh, you gonna go with it? Okay. Yeah, he, wait, he thinks Jin is actually in there then? I see you. This one? Meister selected the coffin. Oh, God. Now, will it be the right one? It can't be. Please don't be. Big sis Sarah. Uh, I'm... I'm scared. Please don't. Please don't tell me it killed him. Please don't tell me it killed him. <laughs> no, wait. What? <gasps> Let's go! Oh, yes! This is awesome! Oh, fuck! I was so fucking scared! I was so scared, but it looks like we got it right! Yeah! Alright! What's so funny, Meow? What's so funny, Meow? Yeah. Huh? I hate you, Wolf! Jin! Ugh. Jin! Woo! Jin! What about Mr. Policeman, Meow? Huh? Oh. The blue coffin that isn't mine. That's Mr. Policeman's coffin, right? Was he inside, Meow? Meister knows. KG's in there? I see, if he didn't use Midori's collar, I can only imagine he's inside. But, did he escape? Don't tell me. After he escaped, he went back in? Why? Was passed out? Please don't. Please don't. Please don't. Please don't. Silent the whole time. That's what I was thinking. No. So I asked to deceive Midori. Oh. No. Please, no. Oh, no. Is this KG? Please don't tell me KG's dead. Whoa. What? Where the fuck did you come from? What the fuck is going on? Where the fuck did he come from? What the fuck? You did good, Sarah. I'm literally about to fucking cry. What the fuck is going on? I'm trying not to cry. Like my heart is like. KG. What? Long time no see, everybody. KG. Hold on, why are you just why are you just here? You survived? I can't even do the voices anymore. Sorry about that. Took some time getting here. Are you the real deal? Might be a ghost, wanna check? KG! Yup, I'm real. It's a long story, but basically Ramaru locked me in the charging room. 
Oh. Oh, okay. Why, Wolf? You should have told us sooner, Meow. Sorry, sorry. I worried you, huh? You did good too, Jin. Y yeah! Sheesh, you should have come sooner. I've been listening to the things unfold over the transceiver. But me being here wouldn't have helped anything. Damn. Well, that's actually a good idea to listen through the transceiver. Now, we can talk later. Do what you need to do, Sarah. Defeat Midori. Oh. What? A rule violation. I finally realized just now. You used it. Misha must call her. Oh. Misha must head, which Miley failed to collect. His collar was still on his severed head. Wait, did you find him? Wait, where the fuck was that? What? Where was it? We still haven't found that collar. So you're the one who had it, KG. And you put it in that coffin. And? KG had the head the whole time? What? That's so smart. That's foul play. Using a missing collar from another floor isn't a valid part of the game. It's against the rules. Mishima's call is a rule violation. Clear foul play. Um. You damn, it's time to give up. No, Midori's right. <coughs> Shit. Yeah? Mishima's collar is an illegal item that was never meant to be used. The dodge execution with it. Now that's unfair. Rule breakers will be executed. But then, the rule breaker who put the collar in the coffin. That'd be KG. No. What nonsense is that? This can't be Shirley. Even after he survived and was reunited, he'll be executed for breaking the rules? No. We remain undaunted. So you're prepared for this? <laughs> How disappointing. Even though there's a way you could be saved. What? I'm not interested in a finished game, you see. Once I win, I cease to care about who played dirty. Don't listen to him, Sarah. I promise you, if I win, I will expose your transgression and won't punish you. Choose Jin, Sarah. Don't listen to a word he says. I'm saying that if you pick Jin, I'll let you KG go, Sarah. Oh, shit. This is fake fucking crazy. Ah! Oh my god. This is the last choice. Really, truly the last. Well, you know, everyone knows what I'm gonna do. Um. It's. F oh shit, wait. Uh. Wait a minute. Oh, yeah, it's four, duh. I was like looking at seven, but like it was still a viable option. No, it's not. It's four. It's four. We've come to the answer. Midori's in number four. Jin is in number six. Wait. Cancel. I am... I am saving. I, oh, shit. I am saving just in case this is, like, not real. Uh, I didn't mean to save over that one, but it's okay. Because we shouldn't... I shouldn't have to go back. Because my mic is working. Everything is working. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm scared. Oh my god, I'm scared. Okay, but we have to do it. This episode's getting really long. We come to the answer, Midori's- Okay. Wait, what did it say? Yeah. Okay. Is this really okay? Once I push it, it'll all end. I'll save Jin, defeat Midori, and Keiji will. It's alright, Sarah. Keiji. We didn't even get to see KG this that much after that whole time. Come on! This, ugh. My hands tremble. But, the last of my strength. I selected the coffin. Please don't tell me it's actually Jin. Please don't tell me it's actually Jin. That would be even worse. That would be even worse because then both of them would die. Oh my, will it be the right one? I... I hope so. It should be. Ah, ah. Ah. 
Don't screw with me, Sarah! I give you a compromise, and yet, you should have given this up! To think death would be so terrifying! Wait, what? Is he lying? Did he just die? It's over. Dang. At least we got that right. Oh my god, I was really scared that Jin was gonna die. Well done, you hit Midori. With this, the challenging team wins, however. It seems you'll need to pay the price. Oh shit. No! Oh. Protect KG! We won't let you do that! Rule violations will be punished. If you resist, we'll take you all out, got it? I still... I still won't move aside. I won't let you kill any more of my allies. Oh. Ain't no need, Sarah. What are you talking about? I'll tell you everything. What? Oh, wait, is he not gonna actually... <gasps> wait, are we okay? What? Oh my god. I'm really trying not to fucking cry right now. <laughs> Cause it's re it's the fucking realization is hitting me right now. It wasn't KG in the coffin. It was Kutaro. And this this is a doll of Kutaro. What? What the fuck? What the fuck? Oh god. Ugh! What the hell? What the fuck? No! No! God damn it! Eh? Sorry for fooling you this whole time. This is what I really am. How did they even make this doll? What the fuck? What do you mean? I don't get what's going on at all. I ain't the real Kutaro. I'm a doll, so fall and prepared. Oh. Wait a minute. I thought he sacrificed himself. He might have been dying already. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. I need to know. I just need to keep going and figure out what the fuck is happening right now. A doll? Yeah. Gage, you look bewildered yourself. Honestly, yeah. Because I just did what I, he expected I'd do. I put Midori's collar in the coffin. What? Wait, what? Right. After he put the collar in, we split up to act separately. KG went to floor 5, and we went to the cemetery. Why did you go back there? The truth is, I was at my limit. My stab wound was even deeper than I thought. Oh. You can't, Kitaro! Get up, we're going to meet Sarah and the others, right? If you stay here, won't you get burnt to death? I'm sorry. Seems it's too late for me. She's crying and she's the one who did it. She, she feels so bad. Oh my god, this fuck. Ugh. Is that what Safalan told you? I don't want this. It's because of me. Don't cry. There's no time. What you need to do is. I can't do it alone without you, Kitaro. You won't be alone. I got a doll. Safalan to help you. If you could just get the ID card, you use the AI Seaver with my doll. Mm. I'm sorry, I'm like, I need to like take a second between reading lines. It's like, ugh. But then, what about you? Are you planning to die here without anyone even knowing? 
I'll be the ultimate camouflage. That's ridiculous, please. Now get going, bye. It can't be. Then inside coffin number five was the real Kutaro? Yeah. No. No. Jin, you got out? Muscle Gorilla, so he already. I'm sorry. I'm guessing he was burned in the coffin then. Oh. Oh. Oh, that makes sense. Wah! Wah! This is so fucking sad. This is like the, literally the saddest thing in the fucking world. Oh my god. Why? We were gonna get home together. Don't cry now. Jin, you're a big boy, right? Sarah, Kano, Rico. Gotta protect them, alright? Stick with your allies. Oh my god. Oh Wah But Muscle Gorilla, he was all alone. We couldn't even talk. I couldn't tell him anything. I Oh No, he knew. I may just be a copy, but even now, I feel like I'd be willing to die for you. What are you saying? You can't My good fortune. Was my heart being weak? To tell the truth, I wavered lots of times. Yeah. I even thought about abandoning everyone, everybody. We could get that ending. Even so, I couldn't. It wasn't kindness or anything, it just yielded. That part of me that wanted to survive even if it meant killing someone else. Oh my god. Ah! So I'm happy. That I could come to your age. Muscle Gorilla? What's wrong, Muscle Gorilla? Mr. Kitaro? He says his name finally. Thanks, Jin. Wait. Oh, the battery. The battery's ending. Mr. Kitaro! Mr. Kutaro! Oh my god. Finally said his name. And it's over. All the dolls have run out of battery. Next will be your final game. The winner will be decided. Why? What? Why? No, it won't. Hmm? We'll escape. We won't do as you expect us to. There's five people left, anyways. Two, if two die, and then three are alive? I guess you can't, yeah. Um, I don't know. I don't fucking know what's going on anymore. <laughs> we won't do as you expect us to. Well, now, I look forward to that. Jinobushi. What, meow? Keiji Shinogi. Hana Kazuchi. Yes? Reiko Yabasame. Yeah. And Sarah Chidoin. The five of you will have a final match. Until then, give some careful thought. What? To the ways you might outwit each other. What? What does that even mean? Who is Meister? Is it Sarah's dad? Why do I feel like it's Sarah's dad? I don't know what's going on. Final chapter, part one, end. Oh. Be continued in the final chapter, part two. Oh my god, this has been so good! Uh, we're so close to the ending. Look, he's even there. This is as far as the story currently goes. Save your progress? Yeah. Thank you for playing this far. Guys, that was so good! That was so good! Come on! If you, if, if you don't like this, I don't know what kind of person you are. That was such good storytelling! Oh my god, I literally- that made me cry! I teared up, I really teared up, and I feel like I might tear up after this, but I'm not doing it on camera. 
Oh my god, I can't believe Kitaro is dead and gone. This is so sad. We have five people left. And all the dolls died too. So that's great. <sighs> Kitaro is such a good person. Even though he betrayed us that one time in that one ending, and he was faltering, but when and the thing with the, you know, the target and Jin on one side and him on the other side. He was still was a fucking good person and saved Jin in the end. That was really... I don't even know what to say. This is like... This was a good plot twist. I don't even know. This is a good episode. I think I need to end it here because we're at like almost three hours and I just need, I need to end it. If you enjoyed this episode, please leave a like and consider subscribing to see more content like this. This was an amazing episode. I hope you did like it. Tell me with those likes. Come on. And tell me in the comments section what you thought of this episode. This was an amazing episode. Come on. Oh my god. So good. This game is like so good. I mean, I wasn't. This chapter, I wasn't really a fan of. Well, the first chapter, I guess. First part of the chapter is what I'm talking about. I wasn't really a fan about all the battles and stuff. But I like how it came back as relevant at the end. Um, in the, in like, this whole thing that we just did, with the, you know, what we just did, basically. <laughs> I don't need to tell it again. Ooh. I'm gonna see you guys in the next one. Have a good time until that one comes out. I loved this episode. It was, it made me so emotional, I'm probably gonna go cry. But yeah, well, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!